Uh, 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 hey, what, what? Hi. <laughs> give me like, give me like one second, all right? I'm, I'm taking care of something real quick. <laughs> I, I forgot to, I forgot to do something. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Ooh. Oh my god. <laughs> got it. It feels, it feels weird, like, not having a structure anymore now that I can just stream to stream now and it's not like debut debut and I'm no longer limited by time <laughs> but hello everybody I I didn't think wow that happened <laughs> uh, I understand it's late for some people or really early for some people uh, just know uh, I'm probably gonna be streaming in the afternoons more so than around this time maybe on occasion We'll see, but, you know, this is more like a one-off thing, to be honest. But, hello, chat. I hope you guys are doing all right. I thank you guys so much for coming out to the debuts yesterday and the program itself. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Glad to finally be able to talk uninhibited now, now that I don't have to... F oh my god. Alright. Now, now that I'm free to talk about the things that I want to, uh, I can tell you guys... <laughs> I can tell you guys all about what happened before and before debut and after debut. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Also, thank you. I, I I didn't really know how to say this before or just how to go about it, but truly, I I do thank you guys so much for helping me break one of my first goals of 50k on literally anything. I'm very grateful for the 50k's on YouTube, on Twitter, as well as on the cover. Just everything. It really, really means a lot, and I'm very happy. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> but yeah. Oh my god. <sighs> you know, I didn't think I would be as nervous as I was for debut initially. Um, I'm not gonna lie, like the weeks leading up to it, I was kind of like, oh, you know, it's not it's not gonna be that bad. Like, I'm not gonna be that nervous. I'm probably I can probably just talk, right? I can talk the way that I always do. You know, and I soon realized because I was working on the cover, right? Um, I just didn't have enough time to start making a bit because you know how like Vivi and can I both have like they, they, they both had their thing going on. We had, we had the whole rat, rat thievery, and then we had the whole RPG intro situation, right? I didn't, I one, didn't have the brain power for that, and two, I just, <laughs> as you can see, I'm also creatively devoid and lack the ability to draw, so I mean, honestly, take that as you will. <laughs> so yeah, I, I think that was, oh my god, that was the one thing that I was kind of like, man, I wish I did, but uh, I am glad the way that it did go, to be honest. Um, If anything, I will say, uh... I did not have nearly as much, pr not prep, I personally did not have the opportunity to practice nearly as much. Um, <laughs> I'll tell you this right now. Alright, story time. The PowerPoint that you guys saw, I had literally made like, maybe like an hour before. <laughs> before when something was, was due and I was like, Shh. I was like, oh god. They, they, do they need to check this? <laughs> so, so when when I when I submitted it and then we we checked the the Tuzmi Sam bit, they were like, we need to check with them, and I'm like, oh, okay, P please please and thank you. And I remember getting the message of just like he's cool with it. I'm like, awesome, I can get away with this. But yeah, I, I I do think like I'm more so the type of person who. I get really, really nervous before events, but like during it, I'm pretty okay. I don't know. This time around, I was most definitely like very, very high on the nerves, kind of. I couldn't. The thing being also is like, it felt like I was very much so not like disassociating, but I was most definitely like in a, in the passenger seat. Like I kind of watched myself do that whole debut, and then it kind of kicked back in, and I was like, oh my god, what just happened? You know. I, 
That and also watching the VOD too. Like, I try my best to articulate the best that I can. That and focus a lot on my enunciation too. Just to make sure that you guys are able to hear me clearly and I'm, I'm trying to get what I'm trying to get across. Uh, so when I do stumble on words or when I do talk too fast, I can, I can like play back that memory of just like, oh, I know exactly how I was feeling at that moment. So I can try to fix that for next time. You know, I, <laughs> that is another habit that I've, I've never been able to break. It's a lot of the filler words that I do say. So you're going to hear a lot of, so like, um, uh, you know, like those are going to come up very, very often. I'm very like hyper aware of it. And I, I, I try my best. I try my best. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh my God. So pre-debut, pre-debut. This is going to sound very bad though. I'm, I don't want to, I don't want to endorse this either though. Um, I was super, super nervous, obviously, but at the same time, I was still working a lot on the cover itself. Um, usually mixing doesn't take me that long. But I think with this cover in particular, uh, I will say it was just super challenging. You know what I mean? I, oh my God, shootout songs are so difficult and I, I just don't have the chance for it though. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I got super lucky. Um, basically I had spent like maybe almost three weeks, almost three weeks trying to record. And I say trying because... I basically didn't get the last or like the final takes of the things that I'd wanted until two days before, basically. I will tell you right now, I had basically re-recorded the entire cover about five to six times. Like I had that many days of like dedicated eight hours of recording, basically. And I would scrap it because I was like, okay, this doesn't sound good. And I would just go next. It was, it was really frustrating. This happens like very often, by the way. Um, if I don't like a take, I will scrap it. And and keep in mind, for best practices, I will say just keep maybe like two to three of your takes. If you if you ever do happen to sing or if you do want to cover things like that, uh, be be sure to keep at least two to three takes. By the way. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I would basically spend like full days, like from from noon till about like eight or eight or nine p.m. just screaming in my room, because uh, yeah, that song is hard. <laughs> But also, I don't... This is going to sound even worse. This is this is why I... When I went to Vanta's chat and I saw he was like... We were talking like male living space. Uh, this is where I kick in. Because I don't have... Um, my room light bulb, like the overhead light, that bulb has been out for like almost a year. I've never bought a new light bulb because I was too lazy to. So I quite literally sit in this room in the dark. <laughs> and the only light that comes off is my monitor and my like overhead light bar and that's it like right now it's it's almost pitch black <laughs> you worked in the dark yeah my eyes aren't great I'll say that much but I mean hey it's fun <laughs> boy dinner type beat hey, hey, hey listen my my boy dinner is is uh <laughs> is fast food and and a soda <laughs> Which I actually have like right here. You can't hear it. I just tried to like shake it to make you hear the ice, but there's no ice because it melted. Um. <laughs> yeah. Man, I'm glad you guys like the cover though. It, it genuinely makes me feel good about things. Um, I'm not going to lie. There's a lot of... <laughs> A lot of very, very small details that really bothered me, basically, that I tried to cover up as much as I could. Um, and that's why I tweeted, like, I'm so sorry for using the phone filter EQ and just abusing the hell out of that because I basically had done that to hide as many, like, very, very minor mistakes that I, I didn't want to hear, basically. So uh, that's that. Also, the choruses, I think... Could, mm, I don't know. The song in general is like a very dry song, so there's not a lot of reverb or like delays or anything like that. So I think I did an okay job with that. In the future, though, I think I want to. I do want to improve. I do. I do have a lot of notes that I took uh, after, and just this genre of uh, music as well. 
I think. It, it, it's a nice learning experience, for sure. You sound like a perfectionist, Claude. I unfortunately am, and I'm very picky when it comes to uh, a lot of audio. Like, for example, like, even on stream, like, during debut, I think I sounded too bassy, in my opinion. Uh, I don't know if I changed, like, fixed it in time for this stream. But who knows? You know, I, I try my best to give you guys the best experience possible as well. You know? <laughs> God, God, I, I can tell when I do it and then it, it just comes out and I'm like, God. <laughs> Damn. Um, as, <laughs> as for how I picked the song, by the way. <laughs> oh my God. I basically, oh, I was trying to figure out because I was like, what do I want to do for debut? <laughs> and I was like just listening and like watching YouTube videos about stuff. And I was like, oh my God. You know what? I just need to pick something. I quite literally closed my eyes and pointed at my monitor and whichever like recommended video it would point to. That was the one that I was going to do. <laughs> so that... <laughs> I just rolled with it and I was like, oh, this shouldn't be too bad. And I asked a friend, I was like, do you think this song is hard? And they're like, mm, yeah, it, it sounds good. You'll be fine. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then when it, the first day that I got to recording it, I, I was like, oh, these choruses are hard. <laughs> so then I, oh my God. So hence the re-recording saga. Um, and basically... I did not... Okay. Fun fact. All of the chorus parts and the screams were not finished recording until like two days before, basically. Um, And I had... It's a good thing. It's a good thing that I had pre-mixed everything. So even with bad takes, right? Um... Because I have a general understanding of the way that my voice works and the the sound in particular that I want to go for, right? I can basically set it up to where I just need to throw in the vocal when it's done and we're fine. You know what I mean? So if I finally get the good take, then I can just render it out and it's awesome, right? So I had a draft the week before with an older take that I just, again, I was not happy with basically. So I... <laughs> so yeah, I, I basically had everything prepared for me to procrastinate as much as I could. You basically work under pressure and, and deadline? Kind of. Don't, don't tell staff. <laughs> I'm joking. It, but it definitely was very nerve-wracking. Um, I will say, and you guys might think this is crazy, uh, the screaming parts, for example, are actually much, much easier for me than the actual chorus itself. I genuinely think the chorus was so much more difficult because I couldn't hit that high note, but when I scream, it's fine. Now, the only reason that I can scream and scream healthily um, is because I just do it in my car all the time. Whenever I go out, whenever I go to like the gym or something, or if I'm if I'm just by myself going somewhere or like fast food or anything like that, I will just scream. There is a way to do it like healthily though. Like, like very much so. I will always implore this to anybody. Please, please, please. If at any point in time you are pushing your voice to discomfort or anything like that, you just need to stop. At no point in time should it ever feel uncomfortable. Also, oh my god, hi Uki. I, 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 I'm sorry, I, I don't know how to mod people. I, I don't get YouTube, and I haven't modded anyone yet. <laughs> I'm really bad at this, by the way. YouTube's hard. Yeah, but vocal-wise, I... I don't know. Again, like, this is why, like, I think for me... There's a lot of, there's different aspects of myself that I do happen to, I'm, I think I'm proud of myself to say the least of just like, yeah, I can scream in a, in a way that sounds loud and good and gritty and cool, you know, um, whereas when it comes to singing, I'm just like, eh, whatever. So I, I never consider myself like a very good singer, if anything. <laughs> um... I will say, yeah, actually, no, that's another thing. I never really considered myself a singer to begin with. I've always been 
uh, audio more than anything, right? I've never, I didn't really start singing until I sat down with myself and I was like, okay, uh, I think it's time to finally start doing it. <laughs> you know, because I'd already been doing audio for a long time and I was like, okay, you know, I might as well be able to use this skills for myself. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think of like another thing that was somewhat tangentially related, I guess. Yeah. I, d I do have some songs like in the pipeline that I'm thinking right now and I need to wait to have approved and I'm hoping to at least have like one thing a month basically. Uh, it is going to be a little difficult for me to fully produce I guess like I can probably do something where it doesn't need like a huge huge PV again um, and just have art and I can just finish the mix no problem but we'll see also hi VV what's up uh, my, my favorite Xbox mic <laughs> a month I, it's, it's ambitious I know I like I, I realize full well that like me saying once a month is is very very like kind of difficult to pull off in my opinion however uh I think that's something that I want to push to do, you know? It's absolutely something not within my comfort range, but obviously that goes hand in hand with the things that I want to do, you know? It, it, it happens. It keeps happening. It was literally like four, you know, in the same same sentence. I'm going to go insane. If anything, I think I might have been hanging out with, <laughs> with Wilson a little too much recently because he also does it too. <laughs> oh my God. Man. Yeah. I'm, I'm hoping uh, at some... Okay, I also need to do it in a way... I also need to pick songs where I don't end up trying to strain my voice to hit high notes in a chorus, by the way. I'm going to start um, lowering the keys for a lot of songs from now on because it, I, I can't do this again, man. Uh, yeah, I do want to do... um. I do do want to do it. Ba, 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 ba. I, I, I I do want to do um, a karaoke stream sometime. I was kind of recommended to do it mostly for celebration related things. So I mean, in some ways, like I'll probably do it for our little 50k excursion. Oh my God, Alira! Wow, Elijah, uh, Pandora. <laughs> yeah. Um. So I mean, honestly, like now that now that we hit 50k, I'll, I'll probably plan for one soon. I just need to have a set list. Unironically, when I go to karaoke, I I reuse the same set list like all the damn time. <laughs> oh my god, girl, how do I, how do I, how do I mod you? <laughs> guys, guys, I need to mod you. I'll 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 mod everyone later. I'm so tired. Here, you guys, I think I did it. I think I did. Oh, awesome. Cool. Um, I'm the goat. Where did Vivi go? I need to, I gotta do that one too. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, karaoke, eventually. I think once I have a proper set list that I, I have an idea of, I think we'll probably have that sometime soon. Ironically, it's like 50k came pretty fast. So I, I'm not sure what I'd want to do for 50k other than the karaoke. And for other special events, I guess. Um, 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 um hold up, where, where is VV? There, there, there she is. I got him, got him. Awesome. We did it. I got <laughs> this is me hunting in this chat. You guys talk really fast. And I'm like trying to catch up the best that I can. But yeah. Uh, I, I do really want to learn different songs, I guess. I'm not really... Okay, I'm not going to lie. Um, I really, really like J-Rock, but a lot of the J-Rock that I listen to is is kind... Like, just a little bit out of my range, basically. That I'm never able to, like, fully hit it at, like, the original pitch. I think, I think a good example... Um, so... Uh, one one GP senpai that I I absolutely love and I love his voice is uh, Watarai senpai. I from Volt Action. I love all of his covers. I love all of his lives. I've <laughs> he he is he's an inspiration. I'm not gonna lie. So 
you know, his voice is up there and can really, really make J Rock work. And I'm like, oh my God, I, I, I want to hit the, I want to sing those songs too. Ah. <laughs> so, like, like for example, um, his uh, Uso cover from Sid, I, I would have to sing that like minus two semitones, just about, for that to be comfortable. But that's just where my voice kind of sits naturally. That, that is to say, that's not a bad thing necessarily either. Like, sing songs in a comfort range, and if you really have to, like, edit a song, you know, feel free. But, you know. Most bass in Nijian. <laughs> J-Rock, do you know 1OK Rock? Uh, I do know 1OK Rock. Uh, oh my god. Their, their songs are also really hard, because... Kanzen Kankak Dreamer is iconic. Uh... I think it's crazy that in Cry Out, Taka can hit a C5, and that is like one of my favorites too. I I wish I could belt a C5 actually. That's hard. Trust me. Uh, Higedan is also insane. Uh, do I like K-pop? Uh, let me let me like think right now, cause right, what am I listening to right now? Uh, I was super 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 into Momoland. When they started, uh, I like CLC. I listen to a lot of Stray Kids right now. Uh, what else we got? Mama Moo still. I wouldn't, to be honest, I don't know if I'd consider DPR Ian K pop more so that he's just regular pop now. You know what I mean? But. I, I really like DPR Ian. I, I guess he kind of counts like he's like adjacent. Yeah, I have DPR, DPR Live also actually. A lot of KRNB. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. My Again, my music taste is like all over the place. I, I'm not opposed to listening to like literally anything and everything. And we, we've, we've talked about this. Like I will listen to breakcore of anything. I think, I think my favorite Twitter account of all time is random videos with breakcore. And I think it's funny as hell. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I listen to Breakcore when I play like Valor and stuff like that, I'll, like off stream. Uh, by the way, Claude, how are Crisis S Senpais? I will I will touch on like the Senpai bit in just a bit, actually. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we, got, we got a lot of questions all at the same time. Uh, Tatsuya Kitani, I listen to Tatsuya Kitani, but I listened to I listened to him when he was like a Vocaloid producer. I think, was, I think was, a lot of his newer stuff is also pretty good. Uh, my current favorite actually isn't even the JJK opening. It's uh, Buck and Nickel. I think that one's really nice. But yeah. I think for the karaoke, I think I'm still pretty nervous about live singing in general still. It is something that I kind of need to like mentally and just get through. You know what I mean? I feel like uh, the only way to do so is to have a lot more practice and build up confidence that way. Um... But I guess that would just mean a lot more rehearsals. Uh, do you listen to Utsupi? I like Ogre a lot. <laughs> uh, am I picky about food choices? Not really, to be honest. I Well, okay. I'm not picky. Like, I will eat whatever's in front of me. That doesn't mean I'll like it. You know what I mean? I will eat them, but I won't go out of my way for it. That is the best way I can say it, I guess. Oh, this track is a lot. I don't know why I put it in this playlist. Yeah. Honestly, it's kind of crazy, though. The fact that we... Or rather, not we, but... I don't know. The fact that I even was able to post a cover to begin with is still a huge, huge step in the like, direction that I want to go in. Because, frankly, I never envisioned myself to be able to do so. Like, now. Um, I think for a long, long time, I've always been way too scared of singing in front of anybody, for that matter. Or even just recording in general. So I I get I get really scared, you know? So I think I'm I can safely be proud of the progress that I've made. You know, and I'm appreciative of everyone else who who's been very, very supportive about it and saying so many nice things. So I, I it's nice. It's nice. Uh basically you're up to recommendations but not guaranteed to like it. Pretty much. Yeah. Uh also, okay, I need a I need to preface this and I need to say this before people like take this the wrong way. Um I will do this thing where I'll like I'll 
I will sigh a lot. Um, this isn't because I'm annoyed by anything. This isn't because I'm yada, yada, yada. It is solely because I genuinely forget to breathe. And that's crazy to say because you're like, oh, what, do you, what do you mean? Um, I talk a lot. I talk really fast and I talk for long periods of time. I don't have a lot of time to breathe. And the air that goes out is much lot like much more than what goes in. So I kind of need to take time to like mentally and like just physically reset sometimes. So I just let it a sigh. Um, a lot of people have always and pe I don't know why they always give me like not. OK, I, I, what? guys, am I allowed to curse yet? Am, do I still need to be PG for you guys? <laughs> but people people always like try to tell me like, are, are you mad? Are you annoyed? Are you like, are you OK? Trust me, like I'm fine. Um. I am very, very vocal when it comes to being uncomfortable or things that kind of bother me. Um, so it's usually not an issue in the case of like, I don't know. I, I set very clear boundaries with a lot of people and just the way that I operate pretty much. So if, if there are things that genuinely do make me uncomfortable, I will probably say it. Just remember that. I, I think that's another lesson to actually <clears throat> remember for everybody. Like most cases there are a lot of people it depends entirely on the person that you're talking to or working with um some will be more open to uh saying you know like hey can you not do this or hey this doesn't make me feel good however there are a lot of others who generally don't speak up and it kind of sucks because you can never really tell like how what you're doing could potentially affect someone else so it's important to kind of keep in mind a, a lot of the things that you do uh, as an individual can impact other people, you know? So just remember that. Be have, have self-awareness. Have self-awareness. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh I guess I can talk about Senpai now. Cause oh my god. <laughs> um after the announcement, I got I finally got the chance to talk with everyone, which was really, really nice. Um I had ended up in or actually also, oh my god. <laughs> So on the announcement, at this point in time, the the cover wasn't even finished recording yet, by the way. So basically, I was like, ah, oh, I need to record, but I want to I want to talk to everyone. <laughs> so then I, I like joined and I just sat in the call and I just started talking to everyone. <laughs> But then, like, okay, obviously, I didn't want to, like, record super, super late. I didn't want to, I just didn't want to mess up, you know what I mean? Like, time-wise. Because if I record too late, it's people want to go to bed, right? And I don't want to be, like, listen, I don't, I don't want people outside to be like, is he okay? At, like, 1 a.m., you know what I mean? Especially if I'm screaming, you know? Uh, <laughs> so, that day, this is, like... What, what when was this? This is like Wednesday night. Um, I had <laughs> I joined the call and I was like, oh my god, hey guys. And then we all just kept talking. It was it was pretty awesome. But yeah. Wilson Wilson was the first to start uh not reach out, but he was the first to like join the call and like talk to me. And I I think we hit it up pretty good. I think we hit it up pretty good. He's he's very, very nice. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I bonded the most with Wilson, like, right off the bat. He's, he's such an incredible guy. Very, very nice. Very, very welcoming. I I, I, I can I can see how excited he is to be a senpai, and it, it's really funny. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think, honestly, like, everyone's just been super, super nice about it. You know, super welcoming, super genuine. Very nice. All the Crisis Boys, especially. Then, so the night before debut, or like, rather the morning of debut, to be honest, um, I was still mixing. This is like seven, like not even seven, like right before their Party Animals collab, uh, the Crisis Boys joined the call because they all woke up at the same time and I was sitting in there all night <laughs> just mixing and they all joined and I was like, hey, what's up, guys? So we were talking for a while and it, it's it's very nice. I, I all the crisis boys are genuinely super, super cool guys. Love them to death. 
I hope to collab with them some other time soon. Uh, kind of off topic, but do you have pronouns? If you do, can you let us know? Um, I do use he, him. Uh, they, them in this case is also fine. Don't worry about it. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. And then last, oh my God, last night after debut, basically I was like, oh guys, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> Because I had been up since like midnight the day before. Uh, so I had been up for almost like 48 hours just about. Uh, and then I <laughs> directly after debut, we were all just sitting in call. Actually, hold on. Let me, let me take off the mask. Someone, someone said it. I was like, you're right. So I was <laughs> immediately after me and Shu just started playing Valorant. <laughs> Because we were talking and we were just like, oh, yeah, like, like we're not like it ended up just being the two of us. And, and we were just like, v Val. So then we just hopped on. It's pretty fun. I've been so rusty, by the way. Oh, my God. I uh, I've been so stressed with debut prep, basically, for like the last like two weeks. I haven't had any time to like just play and practice. And it, I, my mechanics are so below the water. Oh, my God. Yeah. But yeah, she she's been great. We we've been we've been vibing. Yeah. And then after uh Maridin stream, she joined and then we were having we played like two games before I went to, I finally went to bed. Uh I would also like to mention I for, I hadn't eaten like up to that point by the way. <laughs> I like I literally didn't have my first meal in like the last like two days, like maybe two hours ago. That's how stressed out I was actually like you got I don't if you guys think debut pressure isn't real. Oh, I beg to differ. Those nerves are unreal. Okay, like you you feel it in your gut. I don't kunai kunai genuinely. I'm so so amazed by the way that she's able to handle that pressure because I was I was just through the ground basically. You want 48 hours without food? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, wait, do you have an Oshi Claude? Uh, Oshi in terms of what? Oshi in terms of what? I think it depends entirely on what we're talking about. Like, if we're talking, like, VTuber in general, uh... <laughs> I, feel, I feel embarrassed talking about this one. <laughs> oh my god. I'm, I'm scared to talk about a VTuber Oshi, dude. Like, that's... I'm like trying to think because I'm like, what 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 will what was not incriminating? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, honestly, like my number number one is uh, Toko Senpai, Inui Toko Senpai. I she was one of the first that I had started watching at the time, and what she's the one who had basically like I got super super new Niji Sanji to begin with. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, like I'll, I, I do consume a lot of like Niji JP in particular, so I, I, I watch a lot of uh, what that is. Uh Also, oh my god, I really like watching Sophia Valentine Senpai too. <laughs> I, I watch a lot of her. Like, like I leave her Minecraft streams and like her work streams on in the background when I'm when I'm like trying to like just chill out or anything like that. She's very, very cute, and I'd, I'd like... I, I'm so glad that she's also doing a lot of singing, too. It's really cool. <laughs> the Toko Hibari song was a dream country. Yes! Oh my god, I was so... <laughs> you guys have no idea. Ah, <sighs> man. I, it's crazy now that I can finally talk, like, at a normal speed, and I'm not locked down to 25 minutes, by the way. Like... This feels much, much nicer in comparison. <laughs> uh, do you watch Lauren? I watched Lauren for a lot of his FPS stuff because Lauren is like the GOAT. Like he's good. It's kind of crazy. But I also, I, I really admire him in the sense that he does a lot of esports related things. And that's what I also kind of really want to pull off. Genuinely, he, he just 
is doing astounding things, and I only aspire to be able to do what he does. Uh, sorry off topic, but any shipping rules? Personally, I don't mind them. Uh, just do not, like, overstep, I guess. Like, and th this should be pretty common sense. Like, keep in mind if it's between, like, me and someone else, right? That is equally just as another... Like, their feelings are just as important as mine. And we are both people at the end of the day. Um, I don't mind it in the case of, like, oh, you know, this design with this design, like, their design, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's fine. Just, just remember to kind of ease up when you feel like it's a little too much. And, and I think you should be able to kind of recognize, like, okay, this is too much. Right? I, I, again, I wish that you guys have the agency to properly make judgment calls, you know, and just use your head. Use your head a little bit. Uh, do you have nickname rules or uh, does what you said in your debut still apply? I can call you anything. Honestly, I don't mind anything. It's not... It's not too much of an issue. Just just know it's not anything too crazy or anything like that. I love your say list, Miano Daisuke Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> oh my god, you guys don't understand. I my, when we were talking about Oshis, <laughs> my absolute favorite voice actor, uh Nobuyuki Hiyama. I love <laughs> I love him in Shirobako. <laughs> I love him in Bleed. <laughs> I just love him in general. He's he's such he's, his voice is so iconic. It ee, I get a little giddy. <laughs> yeah. Ikaku Ikaku from Bleach is one of my favorite characters, so it it's very like ee. Especially him in Promare too. Like genuinely, he's just such an iconic voice too. And I genuinely I, again, like when I say that I am a big fan of voice acting, like I I love voice acting stuff. It's really really cool. <laughs> yeah um i lost track of what i was talking about actually <laughs> we, we went from like answering like two two three questions to like oshi 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 two three questions oshi oshi, oshi. <laughs> yeah i guess now this is like a weird q a type beat uh quick question for you playing doom will it be the whole game or will it just be part of it okay i don't know how long uh doom 2016 is I have this thing where I usually try, and if it's like a game that I can do, I'll finish it in like one one stream. Um, I will do it. I finished the entirety of Titanfall 2 campaign in like one sitting, basically. So, you know, that's all I'm, that's all I'm saying. I really want to talk BL. I, oh my god, I'll, I will talk BL like... All right, I will give you guys the most generic ones that I like. I'm fairly certain everyone has has somehow seen or know of at this point. Okay, things that I've I've like watched pretty much. Uh, given, Dokuse, uh, Junjo Romantica. All right, those are those are the three that. I, or actually, uh, Sasaki to Miyano. Also that one too. There, there's there's your there's your four that I will I will feed you guys for now. Uh, I will count. I will count buddy daddies in this context too. Actually, uh, yeah, I will. F <laughs> I gotta drip feed you guys like BL recommendation sometime later. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Oh my god. <laughs> obscure BLs. I don't have many like obscure obscure BLs. Not gonna lie. A lot of the obscure like one off BLs that I read are probably things that. Alira sends me. <laughs> so I will... I <laughs> usually, usually, a lot of the stuff that I put on my list is because I'm just like, yep. Alira. This is not a call out. I, I, what I'm saying, all I'm saying is, Alira's got taste, all right? You guys, you guys cannot clown over that. I trust. Alira Scarlet have the best taste in obscure stuff. Ooh, I need a low key. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like if I ask Scarlet, Scarlet's gonna like throw me like a 20 page paper. <laughs> uh, it's it's genuine fear. Ah, uh, okay, okay. I'm seeing people ask about 
Bungo Stray Dog ships. <sighs> okay. I think everyone everyone is fully aware of like everybody loves Daz Chia no matter what. Like that's that's so it's so cut and dry. But you cannot you cannot discount the old man Yaoi, okay? Fukuzawa and Mori. <laughs> Drama. <laughs> yeah. I think um oh my god, I <laughs> Rampo, Rampo and Edgar. <laughs> also is very cute. I'm not gonna lie. Uh and also uh Akutaka and Atsushi. I think I think that one's also really good. Anyway. <laughs> my my taste. Why are you laughing? Because it's so okay, I'm not gonna lie. When I talk about BL, it's it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> it's not something okay. I don't want to wear it, uh, wear it, uh, what, what am I saying? It's not something that I really wear, wear like on my wrist, so to speak. You know what I mean? Like I will read it and I enjoy it, but I don't usually talk about it. You know, in, in most cases, it's only in like my, <laughs> in the DMs with a layer or something. <laughs> That's kind of just how it is. What is your favorite anime? My right now it's Bleach. I, I love Bleach, and especially because Bleach is back with the final arc. And I cannot wait for two more seasons. 20, 24 more episodes, baby. <laughs> Ian should make a BL club or something. Oh boy. Uh, do you prefer BL anime or manga? Manga, mostly. I need to get better about like tracking my manga, though. I, I'm the type of person who's very like one and done. You know what I mean? Like if I if I finish. Uh, whatever I'm reading, I kind of forget to log it. Like there are, there's a lot of the, the reason why I usually am not very good about like explaining some, some of the things that I like or the ships that I like in particular, it's entirely because like I kind of forget to just log it. And then it kind of slips my mind over time as like I find something new to kind of obsess over. So then it gets a little more difficult for me to like bring up later. Yeah. What about Yuri? I do oh my God. See, that's, but this is what I mean, right? Like I... I consume like a decent amount, but like I just don't have enough to like remember in particular. Do a PL tier list? No, 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 no. Uh, do you read manhwa also? Not nearly as much anymore. Um, I used to when I was still in like secondary school. I would just avoid work and then I would sit on like webtoons and like read whatever free chapters was out. Um, one of my favorites actually is like Windbreaker. I think Windbreaker is really good. It's not really BL, but like, okay. <laughs> could, could be. <laughs> yeah, Windbreaker, Windbreaker is one of my favorites actually. It's, it's ironic though. I say Windbreaker because, oh my God, I, Windbreaker and Yoa Petal, both really drove my my not passion but like my hobby of cycling uh so if i'm off stream actually like i i do work on bikes too um i do have i do have one uh road bike for racing and then i do have one uh fixed gear for when i'm doing like street stuff have you ever had sweet home from webtoon i uh, which one is that I'm trying to remember, is this the one, is this the one with the, is it the horror one that in like the, the apartment like building or whatever the hell? I think. I'm trying to remember. Like that, that's the one that I, I vaguely remember reading. I never, I don't think I finished it. It's been a while. But yeah, Yoa Pedal, Yoa Pedal, I love Yoa Pedal. <laughs> Yoa Pedal really got me into cycling for a while. And it's solely because I like watching, what? I don't even know how to explain it. I like team sports. I really like watching a team like work really hard to win something. You know what I mean? It's 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 so it's so nice. Okay, now I'm gonna say this right now. So your pedal, uh, it, it's either Onoda Manami or Onoda Imaizumi. I can't. I don't know how to make. It's so. Mm, but like, Onoda Manami makes more sense, and Imaizumi Naruko makes more sense. <laughs> All sports anime is BL coded. <laughs> but yeah, that, that. all I'm saying, okay, all I'm saying, all I'm saying. But 
Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. The end of the first inter high in Yoa Petal, I genuinely sobbed. I started crying because that just that episode alone was so like there was so much drama and I was like, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, skate too. Skate. I didn't cry during skate, but like definitely I was like, <sighs> you go, you go. <laughs> Uh, free? Ooh. I used to watch free. I used to watch free. I, di I didn't get... Mm, I didn't watch a lot where they started introducing a lot of newer boys, unfortunately. When, like, like when Solskjaer showed up, I was like, oh, okay, cool. But other than that, like, I didn't keep up too, too much. Best point free? I just like Hutter. Yeah, I'll finish. Okay, someone said banana fish. I'll finish banana fish eventually. I I have watched like half of it. Uh, what about blue lock? Please tell me you're a, a nuggy Dale enjoyer. I I do like the ship, but honestly, I don't consume blue lock for the BL. I consume blue lock because I just like watching people with big egos like duke it out. I think that's the more so. I think blue lock has BL undertones, but my main focus is on the actual games itself they're so nonsensical by the way like like in in terms of like real soccer it makes zero sense but at the same time it's the drama is just so tasty dude like like mm. <laughs> sorry i mm. i i really like the the whole like <laughs> how do i explain this is this spoilers at this point is, is he I, I I don't know where how far the the anime actually is or like for example like whoever is like an, a manga reader knows who, damn well who I'm talking about but I don't know how far the anime actually is hold on hold on I, let me like uh blue blue lock okay he's he's technically not introduced in the show yet uh, but yeah uh let's let's just say the Isagi Kaiser right now. Ooh. <laughs> I I really like Kaiser. <laughs> it's so spicy. <laughs> and the way, oh my god, the way Nico is like. <laughs> Moriarty the Patriot. I binge read that actually. Um, I ended up getting a couple of the volumes and I was like, oh my god, oh my god, like li quite literally go like every time I was reading every chapter. I was like, oh I actually haven't watched uh, the anime yet for Moriarty though. I think it's I don't know if it was good to be honest uh, Diamond no Ace. I think I watched a couple episodes <laughs> Long hair Sherlock. Yes, long hair Sherlock uh, Case study of Vanitas. I <laughs> I remember I was on like a vacation or like a trip or something and I I literally downloaded all the episodes on Crunchyroll <laughs> cuz you if you have like premium you can download like you can download episodes on mobile. So I ended up watching I downloaded the entire like all the episodes and just watched it on the plane. Oh my god, what about Jujutsu? Jujutsu? Ah. <sighs> okay. Jujutsu Kaisen, I really like. I'm so basic. Okay, well, actually, no, I'm not that basic. I think I think everyone loves Gojo, right? You, uh, Gojo is basic. What Gojo? Okay, Gojo. Gojo Ghetto is basic. Where does Toji fall in this? Is Toji based or is Toji basic? I need I need answers. We we need like the collective opinion here, because I don't know whether or not I need to. <laughs> Do I need to change my answer? <laughs> Yeah. All right. Toji. Toji's based and basic. All right. Sick. Toji. Toji is like fitness goals. I'm not gonna lie. I. Oh my god. I'm. I'm gonna be strong, man. <laughs> yeah. Toji on top. I don't know. Toji just has like this very specific. Like. Like it's just the muscle, the the ego. The I can just I can take anyone down. It's so like it's just such a huge mix of all the things that I love in characters. You know what I mean? Nanami, I love Nanami 
for the reason that he's voiced by Tsurakan, not say. But also the, the oh my god, this, <laughs> the shots this season. Woo. Gojo's basic. Someone's gonna mom. Okay, you can no 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 no. Bear with me here. Okay, I say Gojo is basic, but I'm not saying that you can't like Gojo. You know what I mean? You guys, you guys need to remember this. You can be you can be basic, but still love the character that you love. That's all I'm saying. Choso, I think Choso and uh, Yuji oh, Bros. Bros. Uh, my braza. <laughs> uh, oh my god, this is okay. We're I guess we're going back now. Uh, do you have any favorite songs by the Vocaloid producers you mentioned on your debut as a fellow fan of all the producers listed? I must know. Okay, hold on one second because I gotta check who the hell I put. Uh, Karasu Yasabo, uh, I okay, Karasu Yasabo, I really like uh, Bad Dance Hall. R906, he dropped a lot of new stuff recently, actually. Um, I like Sai. Sai, Sai is really good. Um, and Catchy. Catchy and... Uh, oh my god, my brain is like dying. S Sai, Money Money, Void Roid, and uh, Catchy. Those, those those four are my favorites from R906. Yeah, Bad Dance Hall is, is one of my favorites, though. Like, genuinely, just because the way you can just belt it, it's amazing. Uh, Fushi, Fushi, I think, is... I don't, I don't know how popular he is, to be honest. I felt like he... I found him and his music, like, really early on. Like, genuinely, like, his first song when he was releasing stuff. Uh, so, his song From Ninth is my absolute favorite. Uh, Aris, Vanitas, Vanitas is really good song, and Yoman, I like Tiny Bunny and, uh, Lostalgy. So, there, there's your answer to the Vocaloid part. Honestly, I can probably put, like, uh, easier Vocaloid things to kind of figure out, like, if I put, like, Mikito P and everyone, like, everybody knows, it would have been easier, but, eh, whatever. Uh, Father, did you watch Pandora Hearts yet? I... Pandora Hearts was one of the sh series that I got into super, super early on when I was getting into like anime manga stuff. So <laughs> it, it is one of the first. I'm trying to remember his name that he was my like favorite character. What was his name? I think Xerxes or something. All I remember that he was like super smug, had one eye covered, had the little doll on his shoulder. That's what I remember. Some, someone's cooking. Mm. Uh, Vinland Saga. I watch a. Oh my god, I'm a reader. I'm a reader. Hand glow, hand glow. Okay. Uh, other popular ones though, Demon Slayer, I finished One Piece, I need to catch up right now. Uh, okay. I won't lie, people have really tried really hard to, uh, and I'm seeing this pretty often, uh, Heaven's Official Blessing, I have yet to fully get into it. I've had a lot of people recommend it to me, but I just haven't had the time to sit down and watch it yet. So, maybe at some point in time, uh, maybe when I, when I get the chance, if anything, like, <laughs> who knows, who knows. Uh, oh right! Speaking of, oh speaking of shows like that, actually, not even like uh, not even like BL wise technically. It's like I really like Link Click. Link Click was really good, by the way. Uh, Attack on Titan CSM. Uh, I'm caught up with CSM manga. Attack on Titan just took way too long in terms of the show, but I finished reading it. At this point, again, this is just anime manga Q and A. Like I'm just reading through chat at this point. <laughs> now you gotta read the novels. Oh, true, true, true. My new boss is goofy. I've seen clips actually. I haven't I haven't gone to fully watching it yet. Um uh, 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 hip mic. Select few songs. I'm not super crazy about it, like I used to. Uh I really like Osaka Dreaming Night. Osaka Division is my favorite. Um but I'm not nearly as into it as other people are. <laughs> okay. I'm seeing a lot of different ones. Okay. Haikyuu, yes, I cried a lot. Jojo, I like part three a lot. 
Psychopaths, uh, I like the music. Uh, I don't remember it too well. Any take on Horimiya? I think Horimiya is, is, and crazy to say, as basic as you can get for in terms of romance. It's just so, like, it just spoon feeds you romance. And honestly, there is no, I don't want to say that there's no depth to it, but it's like, if you want, like, romance and you're looking for romance, you will get romance if you watch Horimiya or read Horimiya. That's just how it is. Uh, I think it's okay. Not not crazy, crazy good, but it's cute and it is memorable. You know what I mean? The art's really nice, though. That's that's why. <laughs> uh, Mob Psycho, I've watched every, I've watched all the seasons out. I want to read, uh, not, yeah, actually, yeah, I do want to read the, um, uh, the web comic, I guess. FMA, FMA was one that I grew up on super, super early in. Uh, I know this is random, but how do I pop a pimple in the middle of my nose? Don't pop it. Uh, let it, let it, like, get all the gunk out. Just don't, don't pop things. Trust me, you, you don't, I'll tell you this right now, you don't want to deal with acne scars. Just, just don't, let it be. <laughs> that that's so specific but i was like oh my god uh favorite bleach arc uh originally i really liked soul society like before thousand year blood war got animated like genuinely i think thousand year blood war for the last two seasons quite literally trumped everything i think soul society in terms of writing made sense like everything was great but i just think from a from a writing perspective and an animation perspective, Thousand Year Blood War is crazy. Yeah. Uh, do you like uh, Kaiji and Haruki as a shipping given? What's your opinion on them? Hmm, that's a tough one. I think it's I think it's there. Obviously, I think it's cute, but obviously because they're not the main focus, it's just not a lot of content. If that makes sense. Uh, who do you want to collab with in, within Niji Sanji Ian? Um, obviously, I do want to get everyone on for like a... <laughs> I do want a Valo stack. That's my biggest thing. <laughs> Once we get everyone for a Valo stack, it's over, baby. Um, yeah. Claude, are you a Fidanci? I don't consider myself a Fidanci. I just read BL. I, I think that's a that's a clarification there. Like I'm not crazy, crazy obsessed with it. You know, I consume a lot of different media. But also there's I feel like there's no need to really put labels on things either. I think if it's like if you just want to read things, you just read things. Yeah, I'm an enthusiast. I partake. I happen to I have to dabble a little bit. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Uh Hinabakumori. I have like one song on my playlist that's oh, what the what was it? God, because it's not lag train. It's it's um I, I oh float play float play. I really like float play. That's one. What songs do you cover next? Uh, surprise eventually. Who do you mean in Valo? Okay, now you guys are gonna call me weird. I think you guys are gonna call me weird for this. Um. I am a Cypher one trick. I quite literally only play Cypher, which is interesting to say, because I know a lot of people are expect me to, or not expect me, but a lot of people are like, oh, you know, oh, du duelist players, smoke, smoke players. Blah, blah, blah. I think Cypher as a Sentinel obviously is not nearly as meta or good as someone like Killjoy, but I, I just like... <laughs> Okay. <laughs> the reason that I play Cypher is because of a really old joke that I used to make where whenever we played Among Us with a group of friends, I would always sit in cams and I would just be like, FNAF roleplay. <laughs> FNAF roleplay. Uh, just just oh, check cams. Check the hallway. FNAF roleplay. Check cams. So I was like, oh, this is fun. <laughs> Unironically, the funniest thing that I've done in Among Us, and I was like, oh yeah. So then I just kept rolling with it. And eventually when Cypher came out, came out, or rather when, when Valorant was around, and I started playing it, I was like, there's just a guy with a camera? Oh, dude. So I was like, FNAF roleplay it is, baby. <laughs> now you're the purple guy? Yeah, now, <laughs> now the tables have turned. 
It's so <laughs> how things have changed over time. But yeah, no, I I do I don't pride myself on being a cipher one trick necessarily. Uh, but I do I just really enjoy the fact that like I I'd, I'd like to think I'm okay at Cypher to say the least. Uh, I'm very happy for the buffs though. Like the buff is huge, by the way. Have you watched the FNAF movie yet? I have not watched it yet. Uh I made a Peacock account just to watch it though. So I was planning on watching it soon. <laughs> I was considering going to the movies for it. Uh, but then I saw the oh my god, I saw the the Twitter video of like the guys fighting on the Thursday premiere, and I was like, okay, maybe I should just watch it at home. <laughs> I thought that was crazy. Oh my god, Utaite, Utaite is a hard one, dude. Because a lot of the people that I listen to, I I wouldn't say are super super like crazy popular, I guess. I I mean, I guess like uh actually no, they are kind of popular. Like if if you ask if you're asking me in terms of uh, Utaite, uh, uh I see someone who mentioned uh Eva thought Eva thought, yes. Uh I like a lot of the songs that Ibadot does, and his voice in particular. Uh, rib, 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 I love Rib. He is my one of my all-time favorites. Uh, Sodaru. Uh, I don't know if you guys know Az, Azusagawa. Azusagawa is also really nice. I love, I love his voice a lot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, I mostly listen to like... Uh, Male Utaite though. So like uh also Fukua. Fukua. Fukua and uh, Shuhei actually. Oh my god. I love Shuhei. Eve I listened to Eve back before he started making like his own music when he was still doing covers. And yes, I, I everyone's saying how do you how do you know Otto? I feel like everyone at some point knows Otto. So, you know, I, I I'm not saying like oh you should know this by now, but just just know. Like, I, yeah. Uh, Narise, yes, Narise as well. Wolpus Carter, Wolpus Carter is an enigma to me. Like, I love, I love Wolpus Carter music because their mixes are super clean. Uh, Miyashita Yu, I listen to his original stuff. Mm. I'm saying, uh, who do you mean in Apex? I play a lot of Bloodhound, I play a lot of uh, Octane. I used to be like an Octane one trick, but then I switched to Bloodhound. Uh, I'm thinking about picking up other characters right now, though. Who is the first yeah, Niji Ian member you watched slash heard of? Alira. Because I've been here since day one. Day dot. Mei-chan? Mei-chan. Yes. I love Mei-chan's uh, Burikino Dance. Burikino Dance is like one of my favorite vocal line songs, actually. Uh, so, oh my god. When when, when Mei-chan dropped Burikino Dance, I was like, oh my god, this is so good. And then when I when Prosec, I also did uh, Burikino Dance, I was like, ooh. I love Wonderland Show Time. They 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 get a lot of the good songs. I actually okay. For reference, I love from Prosecca, I love Kohane. Kohane is cute. My my favorite. I have I have a not like a Nui, like one of the one of the, like the official merch, like dolls. She's uh, I love Kohane. Um, but I I do love a lot of these song choices for Wonderland Show Time. Ba 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 ba. Uh, do you play other gacha games? Uh, I kind of fell out of gacha games, to be honest. The only one that I was keeping up with for a while was, um, was Star Rail on my own time. Uh, I had played Genshin off rip for the first week on release of Genshin, basically. Like, I played it right when it hit in, like, 2020 or something like that. Um, I grinded it out for, like, a week. At the time, like, the highest player was, like adventure rank 40 i was like 33 by the end of the first week so i burned myself out pretty hard in the game and i just didn't really want to play genshin anymore but who knows i do think fontaine is really really cool conceptually like i love uh furina's design too so i i would consider going back <laughs> brunch uh, bro genshin is so good now oh my god i i like watch a friend play sumeru and i'm like this is too much man <laughs> Yeah, who knows? I, I might consider doing a new, new account for you guys. Uh, do you like new, 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 I don't even know French, dude. This doesn't work. 
Uh, Nubilet, I like that he's voiced by Ray Chase. Uh, I think he's an incredible voice actor, and I'm so, so impressed by his delivery on Nubilet. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce this new guy's name, by the way. Rios, the Rios, let Rios, let let Rio Thesley. I'm gonna call him Wesley. I don't, I don't know anymore, dude. Uh, voiced by Josiega, also, uh, one of this guy. Uh, yeah, I love his character, actually. He, I can't pronounce his name, but like, genuinely, character wise, spot on, favorite, muscular, punches things with big fist. Honestly, that's it. Sounds hot. Cool. <laughs> yeah, Risley. <laughs> Rithesley? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Random tangent, when are you going to celebrate your YouTube uh, 50k subs and what are you going to do to celebrate? I mean, when I get the time and when I have everything like ready and approved, I'll probably do like uh, a karaoke sometime, sometime this month. Sometime this month. It give me a bit of time to like prep it though. So I'm not saying like I'm super super gonna be like, oh I'm gonna promise this, but like I do need to make sure that everything is okay and everything's approved. So, you know. Do you know how to cook? Uh just a question. I know how to cook. I don't I've been super busy, is the is the issue. I think ever since uh prep in particular. I just never really had the time to like sit down and, and cook nearly as much, unfortunately. Uh I do a lot of things at the same time, so it is, it is incredibly difficult. Uh, Vox Optimus I got to meet one of the voice actors for Genshin. I really want to meet voice actors. It's, oh my god, it's such a dream of mine. I think the only one that I've ever had the opportunity to actually like meet meet, or not even meet meet, but I was in like a panel one time, uh, was Kyle Abair. Kyle Abair is genuinely such a cool guy. Uh, his voices are iconic. I was asking so many questions. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. So <laughs> I was so, so like, I don't know. I don't know how to, how to explain it. I was just such a fanboy. <laughs> he, oh my God. Okay, you guys also don't know this. Um. So I play a lot of League of Legends, unfortunately. Oh, just a lot. Um, And basically, Kyle Abert is the original voice actor for Ezreal. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, I have about 880,000 on Ezreal, I think. My second is like 200k on like Twisted Fate or Lucian or something. I play a, I play a lot of... Law. <laughs> this was this was like early, early. Don't don't like don't don't, <laughs> don't get it twisted here, boys. Don't get it twisted. I don't play nearly as much anymore. I don't play nearly as much because I also understand that if I do, I will I will explode. Man plays Val Apex and League. He's doomed. All right, listen. <sighs> now that I'm here, now that I am here, I can freely play other things. Okay, do you understand how much I want to be able to play Persona 3? <laughs> that is all I want to do now. I think it's really funny the way that I like I put up like, oh, I'm going to play Val and Apex in the first week. Trust me, I'm not going to do that as often. Um, when I was talking uh, to staff and like getting like recommendations for stuff to do, I was kind of like, oh, my God, I was basically like. Hey, do you think it's a good idea to play this much FPS in the first week? And they're like, yeah, sure, go ahead. And I was like, okay. So honestly, like, I'm probably going to not play nearly as much, like, competitive things. Only because I think it's... Mm, I, I focus up a little bit more so than the average person. Like, I, not to say that I go silent, silent. Um, but I do focus up. And I do want to focus up because I want to win, obviously. You know, it's just a little different vibe. So to speak. So that's just the way that I view it. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm probably going to start switching it up. I'm probably going to start like. I feel like everyone plays P5 Persona 5. I I still haven't played Royal yet, though. I played the I played regular Persona 5, so I do want to play Royal. I'll think about it. Have you heard of Amori? Uh, 
I have played Omori in the past. I've played like a couple of the endings, but I never played like the true ending. I have the game on Switch actually. Like I have a Switch copy somewhere. So I, I will consider it sometime soon. Uh, to your coffee, I drink a lot more coffee now. <laughs> Speaking of P5, do you like Robbie Damon, Akechi's VA? Yeah. And I also like the way that <laughs> the way they clown Alira. It's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, ever played Overwatch? Played a, uh, played a little too much Overwatch, actually. I don't <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how much I want to out myself for how much Overwatch I did play. Oh my god. Overwatch was uh, uh, a, a dark time. <laughs> let's just say, let's just say I play a lot of Ana, and I'd like to think that I'm pretty good at it. That's all. I, that's all I'll say. I won't say a rank, but because then, then you'll, then you'll be like, are you okay? <laughs> Uh, uh, okay. Um, I think I do need to, I do need to get, we got to talk about tags. I feel like I kind of forgot the main intent of 2.0 was to have to settle on tags, but I was kind of like, I kind of just want to talk. I, I really, you guys need to understand that, like, for me, Zatsudan is so much more fun than literally anything else I could possibly be doing. I just like talking about things that I'm interested in, you know? So, that's that's just the way that I am. <laughs> do you think I'm going to actually do it? <laughs> uh, who do you want to collab outside of Ian in the future? Uh, just any JP Senpai soon. I don't know why, but I think he's an FPS gamer. I'll, yeah? Question mark? Probably, I think. Yeah, but yeah, usually I'm, I'm I'm very people people think on one hand, like think about it this way, like on stream I'm very talkative. Outside of this, I don't say a peep. <laughs> I'm usually like very silent. But hey, the second second I'm here, I'm ready. Sorry, I need to check something. Uh oh, right. Someone someone had mentioned this. Horror depends. Um, I'm actually surprisingly really good with horror. Like, I can play Outlast no problem. Genuinely not too bad. Um, the only issue is is that I actually get really bad headaches from some horror games in particular. Uh like I've tried to play Outlast 2, and that one that one just gave me a headache within the first hour, so I I just gave up. It was too much. Like things like Phasma is also like not, not too bad. Uh, all, right, all right, actually, let me let's solidify let's solidify the tags first, and then we can get back to just uh, messing around. Right? I don't I don't even know how to how to go about this because now now that I'm really thinking about it. Hold up, I gotta gotta do this real quick. Does that work? Okay, um, we gotta. <laughs> Want to make a little, little text box here? We're gonna we're gonna decide everything now. Oh, where's my text? Depreciated text. Yes. Where the uh, color? Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Uh, uh, ta tag time. This is the biggest possible font. I oh my god. There we go. Ta ta tag time. Tag time. All right. Let me. All right, we, we gotta, I gotta pull up. I, I I was taking notes earlier, guys. When I'm I'm sorry. I, I guess I'm. I feel like I'm peeping in when I shouldn't be. You know what I mean? Uh, I don't. I don't usually look at my pre-chat in general. So it, it was a new experience to see so many people talking in like this, and I was like, oh my god, what the hell is happening? Um. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
I'm not I'm not saying you guys were going going a little too crazy, but yeah, we love the zoo. You guys are just talking about animals at some point. So I was like, what the hell is going on? Okay. Um let me list list. Okay. For the tags that I saw, uh we gotta establish fan 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 name. Live tag, th thumbnail, art tag, meme tag. I think meme tag I, I'm still pretty set on. I don't know if I want to change it, but we'll see. Clip tag, NSF. Someone mentioned cosplay tag, I think. Sorry, one sec. I gotta, I gotta, <laughs> I gotta feel a little burpy. All right. So, okay. How does how does YouTube work, by the way? Hold up. I can I can start polls, right? Is that a thing? What is QA? What? I've, I've never done this before. Okay. Fan name. Alright, now I've seen I've seen like three of them that I was like, okay, maybe this works. I saw Claudience. Uh Someone's real. I, I saw someone on Twitter really pushing for Claw Patrol, and I was like, okay, I I don't know how well I can do that one, solely because parody is difficult. Um, that isn't to say that I don't like it. It is entirely because, uh, more specific to uh, Japanese law, um, fair use laws in Japan aren't aren't like a thing. You know what I mean? So if we want to do parody on certain things, it needs to be like we would technically have need to have approval for that type of stuff. You know what I mean? So just be be conscious about those types of things. So for the exam in, in this case, right, like it's another thing for me to be like, I can't really make specific parody jokes about a lot of different things because yeah, it could get us in trouble. And and frankly, just got to be got to be on the safe side, by the way, got to be on the safe side. Uh... I saw Claudians, I think. I don't know if that was someone else's thing, though, so I don't know. <laughs> Claw elective. And then, like, okay, actually, okay, for the time being, we'll take out Claw Patrol, unfortunately. Ooh. All right, we'll try this. We'll try this. You guys, you guys can feel free to vote on the poll and see, uh, see how this goes. I've never actually done this before. How do, how do YouTube polls work, guys? I hope this works. Does it, this work? This work? We good? I'm, I'm assuming it does, right? Okay. Oh. Uh. <laughs> I, I, I honestly, I think it's a little hard to top this one. I think you guys really like... <laughs> I think you guys really like Claudians a lot, which is interesting, but cool. Clons? I, I was thinking... <laughs> Dude, some of my usernames for stuff is just Clown Mark. <laughs> you guys don't understand. I'm literally... I'm, <laughs> I'm using Clown Mark for whatever the hell I can. <laughs> Yeah, I did see someone mention like Claudians is like plural and like Claudian is like singular, I guess. Is that is that how we're going to go about this? Is that okay? I hope that's okay. We cool with this? Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. I guess we'll end that poll for now. Uh, what do we got? All right, live tag. I don't... <sighs> I don't know. Do you guys want like a separate tag for live tag or do, would you much prefer it to just be like the general like Claude Clomark tag? I, I'm I'm a little like do I need to have that extra tag separate please? Okay. I'm seeing I'm seeing a couple of people say. Yeah, let me let me figure out. Oh my god, I forgot. I forgot someone mentioned- Oh my god, someone- someone messaged <laughs> Klamau, and I was like... Okay, that one's kind of fire. 
All right, live tag. Claude cast. Someone, someone did this one. I was like, I don't know if I'll get in trouble for this one. I hope I don't get in trouble for this one. Yeah. Okay. You know, I'll, I'll do. I'll do these two for now. Actually. So these were these were two that I saw that I was like, okay, maybe. I, I'm I'm pretty into Claudecast or like however the hell you want to spell that. I think I'll probably need to figure out how to spell that necessarily if we want to do like the W instead of the full D. Sounds like podcast. Yeah, that's what I'm worried about. Because in the event like I want to do something right then or like a podcast style thing and I'd want to use like Claudecast maybe then it might jumble up some things later down the line, but we'll see. We'll see. I think for now, Claude cast might be okay in terms of live tag, because obviously, yeah, I'm technically casting. Yeah, who knows? Me? No, I'll come. Up, I'll come up with like a a better title for a program later down the line, most likely. Um, I'd imagine it'll be okay. Yeah, if you guys, you guys seem to be cool with Claude cast. I'm pretty cool with Claude cast. Uh, we'll roll with that. We'll roll with that. Okay. You guys, you guys seem to really, really enjoy that one. <laughs> Sounds like Comcast to me. Yeah, I'm, I'm the better one. <laughs> All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, thumbnail. Thumbnail's a little tricky because I don't know how to be creative about this one. Um, I don't know, to be honest. I don't know. Yeah, there's like claw nail, clum nail. <laughs> Nail mark? Claude. <laughs> oh my god. What exactly is the thumbnail tag used for? Okay, so I guess this is another thing for me to be very transparent about. Um, there are some livers, obviously, who use a lot of fan art for thumbnails. I think the thumbnail tag, in a way, uh, tells me that it is okay for... So, And this is more specific to the artist who's posting on Twitter. Like, if, for example... If they would want to just post the art, but don't want it used in a thumbnail, uh, they can take off the tag. If they want it used in a thumbnail or they give, give the consent or okay to use it in a thumbnail, I'd rather them tag the art tag as well as the thumbnail tag. Does that make sense? This is entirely for me to be respectful of what, whatever creator is obviously doing fan work. And it's, it's very important that I, you know, at any opportunity, like, can give credit where credit is due. Yeah, I don't... Hmm. Wait, Claudcast, Claudcast is taken, by the way. Someone is using it as well, but it's like a newscaster. Ooh, that's true. I I try to not bite people's stuff, you know what I mean? I think it's very important that, you know, we try to find something that's a little more unique. Well, actually, no. If it's not too flooded, then I, I'm taking it. I don't care. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool. Hey, hey, if it's... All, yeah, all I'm saying, all I'm saying. Clawcast, Clawcast. I think we can do. I think, I think Clawcast, GG. But Clawcast, if that's not taken. Oh no, okay. Clawcast is taken, but Clawcast is not taken. <laughs> yeah, whoever's other program that is, that's okay. Like you can have it. Okay, I. Maybe we should just take this one out. I don't, I don't like this one. Hold up. There we go. Claude 9 for NSF. Oh my god. Wait, I, I kind of like that one. Okay. Uh, Right. We need, okay. No. Back, back to thumbnail. Focus, focus, focus. What do we... Oh my god. Thumbnail, thumbnail, thumbnail. I don't know how to how to talk about this one. A clock nails, like acrylic nails. It's kind of hard. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. It's a it's a little little like it's just not. It doesn't roll off the tongue. You know what I mean? If it was easier to spell and it was like easier to like recognize, I think I probably would have went with it. But <laughs> 
cl clam nails. <laughs> I can. <laughs> that's kind of funny, actually. Uh, clamune, clamuneru. Nah, because someone said yesterday clussy for NSF, and I was laughing. Oh my god. Thumbs for claws. Thumbs for claws sounds like you know. Oh my god, like the the, the cars for kids thing, <laughs> where you like donate your like your old, like old car. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, someone's putting assets. Like, ah, assets are a little tricky. I don't. I'm not too crazy about that one to be honest. Actually, yeah. Okay. No, no. That actually. All right. Sorry. Okay. I, I now that I'm truly truly thinking about it, I think thumbnail can also go into um, assets. I think. I think the intent. Um, this makes a lot more sense actually, because in the event that you want to submit like um, asset stuff, and that is the implication that you want us to use it on streams or uh, for streams to begin with, then I think it makes sense to tag that in a way that you're like, okay, you can use this for your stream or you can use this for your thumbnail. Does that make sense? Claw, claw sets. Is this, is this spelled right? Are we cool with this one? I don't even know. Do we want one S in the middle or two S's in the middle? I don't even know what looks better. Claw sets, yes. Claw sets, okay, we're, now we're, now we're, one, two, two. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. One, two, S. <laughs> this is the easy way to go about it, chat. This is the easy way. I give you, I give you the power. This is probably the closest we've had a vote. Not gonna lie, but thank God, cause. <laughs> All right, I think I think we're rolling, we're rolling with two. We're rolling with two. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, um, art tag, art tag, art tag. Um, there's a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I saw a couple. Um, guys, we are not doing Clart. We are not doing Clart. I said we are not doing Clart. Do do not vote for Clart. <laughs> I don't know. I heard someone someone had mentioned that Clart is like slang for like violence or like something or like like it's it's like British slang for like something. And I was like, oh okay, that makes more sense. I probably shouldn't do that. So, you know, out of respect, I think I think we gotta remember that. Yeah, we, we I don't endorse that type of stuff. So please please understand. Um, 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 um. I don't know. There is, there is a, the, the, some of these were, seem, the, 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 Clostetic, I think. I think I saw that one. Uh, someone was saying, it's a catalog, but cl clotalog. Is that, is that how we're gonna, is that how we say it? Oh my God, you got, we're, we're, we're slowly figuring this out. We're, we're gonna, I'm gonna come down with one. Claw print? I actually kind of like claw print. Oh my god. I <laughs> Sorry guys. I'm not gonna lie. Um, Early on, I was like, I want to avoid the catboy allegations. I'm, I'm gonna try my hardest to not make like paw mark jokes or something like that. But seeing claw print, I'm like, that kind of works. Claw Vinci. <laughs> Okay, wait, Claude of Vinci's kind of funny. <laughs> okay, guys, I hope I don't get in trouble for, for Claude of Vinci. <laughs> I think Claude of Vinci is funny enough. Genuinely, I think it's pretty good. <laughs> I can't believe this. <laughs> Claude, 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 Claude
Wait, these are pretty good. <laughs> these are getting pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, all right. Um, let's see. I. <laughs> hey, Picasso. Picasso. No, I've missed. Oh, missed opportunity. God, Picasso was. Oh, we we had that. Damn. Oh, dude. Second vote. Second vote. All right. All right. All right. All right. Hold. Hold on. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. We got. We gotta <laughs> run it back. Run it back. Uh, Picasso, <laughs> or <laughs> oh my god, what did I mean? <laughs> Claude Vinci. <laughs> Run it back. Run the vote back. We got. <laughs> we got to make sure that we're all on the same page here. <laughs> hey, Picasso. Hey. <laughs> No way, we're <laughs> I think it's so funny, but you know what? The Van Claus also pretty good, but I think I'm not gonna lie, Picasso is pretty funny. <laughs> I'm running with Picasso. Thank God you got. Thank God we. Okay, I let you guys not take like take Clart. Holy, oh. You guys are funnier than me already. <laughs> Whoever came up with Picasso, you're you're the goat. <laughs> All right. <laughs> the meme tag. I I I wanted big magic claws. You guys you guys want. I don't know if you guys want something else though. Now I saw some people being like like caught on like clawed on camera or something like that. Um, clown mark. Uh. I don't know which other ones, to be honest. Honestly, I can't, like big magic claws or clown mark. I'm like debating. We love big magic claws. Clown. I still want Clamau. Clamau is pretty good. Whoever said Clamau. Wait, this isn't even the clip tag. This is the wait, wait, wait. Meme tag. Clamau. I think Clamau is pretty good. I'm gonna be honest. I don't. I don't. Do you guys want to vote? Uh, vote on this, or are we just agreeing that Clamau is okay? <laughs> hey, Clamau with the skull emoji is also pretty funny. <laughs> All right, Clamau, it is baby. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, clip tag. I don't even know what to do for clip tags. To be honest. I think clip tag, we can probably roll with Claude in 4K, right? I don't even stream in 4K, but like, hey, Claude in 4K is pretty good. I know someone, it was either that or like clipping claws or whatever, or clipped claws or something. I think Claude in 4K is also pretty good, though. I don't know. Claude in, Claude in 4K, pretty good. <laughs> Hmm. Claude and 4K with? Ooh, ooh. Oh, clot? Clot? Oh, wait, I don't know if that, that, that doesn't. Clot in 4K? Clotom? Clot in 4K? Ooh. Ah, this one's tough. I don't know what I'm not sure which to go with, dude. You guys are giving a lot of suggestions, but I I just don't know which one to roll with. Claw clippers. Claw clips. Just clawed in 4K is good. Alright, hold on, hold on. Well. Clawed in 4K. Revote. How are we feeling? We either take Claude in 4K or we revote it. If we think Claude in 4K is okay, then we'll roll with it. 
And then we can finally get onto the real question of NSF tag. Because that one I think is going to take me a while. I, I'm going to preface this. You guys need to make it witty and I will not do anything super raunchy. Clot on cam. Oh my god. Okay, I think I don't think we need a revote then. All right, so we're we're good with Claude in 4K. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna lie. Whoever <laughs> whoever suggested Claw Claw video was pretty funny. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that one, but it was pretty funny. <laughs> God, okay. I can't believe I can't believe I'm making a pull for this. Uh huh. Mmm. Nice clock. Klausy. <laughs> Ooh, only claws. I actually didn't think about that. Okay, whoever said claw mark and balls, come on, man. You can you can come up you can come up with <laughs> you, you can do better than that one. <laughs> oh my god. I'm trying to think of like uh... The thing being, okay, the thing it has to be is because it needs to be unique in a way that one, it doesn't give off the impression that like someone random will just fall, stumble into it. You know what I mean? Like it needs to be in a way that you guys can recognize it and it's clever and it's like, okay, you know? Like cloud, cloud nine, Claude nine, like that one's a little tough because I think it's too general. You know what I mean? Only claws kind of gives the impression already, but I don't know if that bites uh, like uh, an IP. So who knows? The issue, the issue is Santa Claus and what the hell? Oh my god! Ooh, classified. Actually, that one's kind of good. I'm not gonna lie, because that implies it's like a secret thing. You know what I mean? That one, that one I, I kind of get. Cause it's like, it, it's like, if you know, you know. But also this could be used for Yasified. So honestly, I, uh, I kind of want to save that one. <laughs> Who knows? This one's tough. This one's tough. Classified might be bad. Ooh, cloudy issues. <laughs> Shoot, calm down, don't be hard. Hey, hey, hey. And this is this is me. This is me making sure that they're happy, and then that way I can not look at this when at later down the line. Alright, Schubert Dubert. I don't know what game you're playing right now. Collage. Oh my god. No, I don't know about that. I saw one, I was like, damn, that's actually not that bad, but then I was like, ooh, I don't think I can do that one. <laughs> okay. Clumunga. Oh my what the hell? <laughs> alright, alright, we'll run, we'll run into the vote. One more vote. Uh classified will not stay. One more time. I'm not gonna lie, I don't wanna go with it. <laughs> oh, but that one's so this is so scary though. Cause like what if we do play like Among Us and we wanna use Clumungus? Cause I think it'd be funny. Oh my god. <laughs> Whoever suggested Clasting Couch? Oh my god. <laughs> Claude your eye? Oh my god. Okay, you guys have so many ideas. Oh my god. Dude, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> there we go. 
Take your take your picks, boys. You guys can Vanta die for this. <laughs> guys, for <laughs> for official purposes, Vanta did not die for this. Vanta is okay. That was not Vanta in the lore video. We need to get the we gotta set the record straight. This is not Vanta Crow. Oh my god. Mm, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Oh my god. But ironically, oh my god, it actually... <laughs> you know, the first draft we did, when I first got, like, the colored... <laughs> the colors. It, it bar for bar was Vanta's colors. Just Vanta with green eyes, and it was kind of funny. Because we, I was like, this looks like Vanta Crow. And then... <laughs> And then when staff was like, yeah, we should probably get this checked. And then just staff was like, uh, we're going to ask them to change it. And I was like, yeah, I should probably do that. <laughs> classified is decently witty. Okay, okay. First of all, second. Oh, no, no, not first of all. First of all, first of all, classified. Okay, sure. Whoever said clumming. You're you're you are so wrong for that, but it's also pretty. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Like, I'll give credit where credit's due, but you were so wrong for that. All right, all right, before... Okay, no more no more raunchy, because I think... I, I'd rather not get, like... I'd rather not get denied, like, monetization for being gross in this chat. You guys... We're, 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 we're gonna take classified. We're gonna roll with it. I'd rather not get in trouble with YouTube before we even start, okay? <laughs> if you guys want your emotes, then we we let's not make them upset first. Okay, cosplay. Um, I'm a little scared because I actually don't know who would do cosplay of my design because I am over intricate in my opinion. Um, I know someone had said, or rather, I saw. Uh, Claws play. I think that one's okay, right? I think Claws play is okay. Sorry, if I talk for like extended amounts of time, like my my nose starts acting up, so I get like a get a little, little snotty. It's it's a little annoying, but. Is what it is. All right. So class play, I think, can work, right? I think for the time being, uh, this 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 will be it. I think we can roll with this, right? Are, are we all in accordance? Oh, hold on, hold on. Yay or nay? Nay. Art, art thou satisfied? Ch ch uh, uh, thine chat. Chatith, uh, Chatith. We don't need a revote. We don't gotta. I got. I'm. I'm. I'm pulling this too, just to be safe. I don't want. I don't want. I don't want unhappy people. Good. Good sir. Good sir. We got another Shakespeare. Art thou? Uh, what? What's the? Quite. Quite. Not contrarian. Is that the right? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> Rollback says is rollback six percent. Ooh. All right. You know what? I think it's overwhelming. I think we're pretty good on this. Claudience is being used by already by a singer. Ooh, guys, guys, we gotta check these things. Mmm. Would this? Mm, mm, uh, mm. <sighs> interesting. Interesting. I gotta think this one through. Take it. No. Okay. You guys. As much as I want to be like, I'll just, I'll just take it. You know what I mean? I. Again. 
this is a matter of respect more than anything. Like, I think it's very important to ensure that we, if we're going to take something or if we're going to, you know, use something, it has to be unique to us. You know, I'd rather not go in and just be like, I'm more popular. Man, man, man. You know, that's in my eyes, that's just rude. And I think that is like a bad usage of like a power trip. You know what I mean? Like, I, like I, I do need to just basically say this right now. It doesn't matter whatever position that I'm in. It doesn't matter what size that I'm in. It's Im greatly important to respect anyone out of any size. You know? So I'd rather ensure that that's okay. Yeah. So if there's... A Actually, that is another thing that I'd like to impart, by the way. It doesn't matter what size an individual or whatever, like, uh, liver or whatever uh, other VTuber or YouTuber that you're watching... Please, 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 I I heavily, heavily ask that you guys respect them no matter what they do. Or rather, rather, not what they do, but rather no matter the size, basically. Treat them equally um, and, you know, based on their actions and their work. So, please, respect's important. Yeah, you're right. I think I think we just change it. So instead of, call, like, uh, we just put the W instead. Like, I think, I think that W works probably, right? Like, that one shouldn't run us into trouble. I gotta do my own SEO searching. Ah. Uh, yeah, all right. Cla Claudians with a W, I think, can work. Because, honestly, there's, like, two tweets in there. And they're not using it. So, I mean, we can roll with that. Yeah, I, I th all right. <clears throat> I think we can we can roll with this. Okay, I've seen this like three times. This is important. I have good Riz look. Are you Mora? Because I need you. Listen, I don't play Genshin anymore. You think you think you're gonna get me with a Genshin of all things? Genshin joke. Even if I like Fruity. <laughs> nice try, buddy. <laughs> Should Claudian also change? Ah, uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I think this is unique enough, probably. No, yeah, you're right, no. Put the W, put the W. If you're gonna, if you're gonna put Claudian, put the W. I think in this case, we're gonna, anytime we're referring to Claw, we use the, we use the W, we use the W. <laughs> <laughs> Only dubs in this. <laughs> Only dubs in this chat. Ah. Only winners. That's right. <laughs> Are you going to make a fanfic tag? <sighs> okay. Fanfic is going to be interesting because I don't know if that's going to fall into NSF. That's a really interesting one, actually. I don't mind that going into art tag, if anything. Like, be, be conscious of that, though. Um, if you know that it's like, uh, NSF or anything like that, just, just put it in NSF, but, you know. Um. <sighs> Hold on, I'm making sure of things. Mm, eh, we, I, I think we can roll with what we have so far. Outclaws? Ooh, wait, Outclaws is kind of kind of sick, actually. Oh, fuck. Wow, 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 wow. I... Sorry, YouTube, I can't curse. Wow. Outclaws is kind of sick. Roll it back. Wait, are we are, what are we using Outclaws for? Is this. Is this for the fan name or is this for Is this for something else? I don't I don't which one is this one for? Fan name? Okay. Keep Claudians. I kinda I kinda mess with Outclaws. I'm gonna be honest. That's kinda sick. Actually. Yeah, I think Claudians f should be for membership, if anything. I think Outclaws. Well, mm, ooh, wait, but Outclaws, Outclaws is nice. Well, actually, no, I don't, I don't want to, mm. Interesting, interesting. I feel like Claudians works 
for like general fan name, but then Outclaws. Outclaws is like a nice membership ring. You know what I mean? Ah, but okay. Actually, no, no. no I, I see someone Outclaws for win. Uh, Outclaws win for fan name and for membership. It should be Claudians. True. True. I will simply look at Claudians as I would a jury. I think this works. Okay. I um, you know what? We'll roll with it. Roll with it. Membership. The Claudians slash Claudian out clause. I kinda I kinda mess with that. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, alright, you know what? I'm not really I don't really I don't read fix nearly as much as I do anymore, but for the for those who want it, uh, fic, tag, uh, claw tails. It's like dragon tails. <laughs> yeah, you guys can have fun with that. I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm gonna turn a blind eye. Disclawed kitten? What happened to avoiding the, 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 the catboy allegations? What did I just say? <laughs> you, you. He wants, he wants me dead. <laughs> mm. Out clause is taken. Oh no. Is it? No, everyone's just saying outlaw, but everyone's saying, saying out claw. You know what I mean? I think we're good. I th or, I, I hope so, at least. Per per perhaps. Perhaps. Uh, Claudette. I think I was worried about using Claudette because I don't want to. I don't want to bite Sunny necessarily because I know Briscadettes. I don't want to encroach on that. You know. <laughs> you guys, you guys, fight Sunny. I'm not gonna fight Sunny. Sunny's Sunny's my brother now. We're we're bros. We we're. We're gonna shake hands. I'm gonna. He's he's gonna dab me up. My goal. My goal is to meet anyone and everyone and just dab them up. I think it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> They're gonna like on site, on site, dab me up, and then we're gonna be like, ah, you got me. Santa Claus is L. We're not gonna. We're not gonna. Uh, why? Why? What is with you in Christmas? <laughs> I don't, we have nothing involved with elves. <laughs> Better yet, I don't even do that much on Christmas anyway, dude. Ah, <laughs> uh, like don't even explain the dab buff. Just hold your hand out and stand there, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> That you have no idea how often I do that. It's pretty funny. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> okay. I, I I'm gonna roll with what we have, just because I I don't know how much more I, I want to keep revoting on some things. Like I see a lot of really like creative suggestions, uh, but it's it on one hand it's just hard to accommodate for everyone. You know what I mean? And. As much as I want to be able to use anything, everything, if anything, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I think you guys are free to make that distinction for yourself, right? You guys are free to talk or rather, you know, say that you're a fan of me or say whatever that you are X, Y, and Z. Um, I, I will respect any and every, you know, feel free. You guys are, keep in mind that these tags are meant for you guys, especially. You know, I will, I will check them and use them on occasion, but you know, more often than not, this is for you. Uh, what animal slash mascot for outclaws? Can we be lynx cats? I, I'm not going <laughs> I'm not going to lie. When I was pitching a lot of stuff and like emojis and, and different things, I was considering like a badger. <laughs> In my mind, the claws in my mind just make me think of a badger. Also, whoever said the the ra with the eagles is really funny. <laughs> that one just kind of just came out of nowhere. And I thought it was pretty good. Ah, uh, 
Your mask is kind of like a bird, so can we do a weird fusion? I- that's the other hard part, because, like, crows are a little hard. <laughs> but an eagle <laughs> Oh, 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 say. My, <laughs> my- my pronouns are... USA! What the- <laughs> Oh my god. The, d the day that I can start cursing, you guys are getting the kilometer joke. Oh my god, you have no idea how much I've wanted to make that joke. <laughs> what What about an albino eagle? Wolverines have claws. Yeah. We're patriotic. Ah. Oh my god. Wait, okay. This is kind of funny. I kind of want to take that. Is, wait, is that an eagle or like a falcon? You guys need to tell me which emoji this is. Because I think this is funny as hell. This is horrible. This is genuinely horrible. Like, for for all intents and purposes, I genuinely think that this is not that creative of an idea. But it's so funny that I don't want to give it up. The eagle is just really funny. <laughs> We've already made the joke, so now I kind of don't want to go back on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what? Inside joke. You're right, you're right, you're right. Alright. <laughs> Our representative like, mascot animal is, is an eagle. It can be a, it can be an albino eagle for all I care, but I think the eagle's pretty funny. <laughs> Love to be eagles. All right, let's go. Raw! <laughs> oh my god, this is so vile. It's so funny. <laughs> You would think eagles are hardcore, but it's just raw. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you need to copy that eagle one. <laughs> All right. Sorry. I, need, I think I need a moment. <laughs> these, are, these are pretty good. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> we're, we're using the eagle. I'm, I'm, I'm taking the eagle. <laughs> That's mine now. <laughs> Whew. All right. All right. That's tags. That's tags. You guys can feel free to use the the eagle for as long as you want. <laughs> if you yeah, if you want to put this in the, in the put this in like the meme tags too, I think it's pretty funny. All right, take a screenshot. Uh, be be sure to post this somewhere. I don't know where they're gonna post this. Put 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 in whatever tag. I don't I don't know. Put my general tag. Whatever. You guys can you guys can use this however you feel now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, these are, you guys are, so <laughs> damn, we're patriotic now. <laughs> I don't know how this happened. <laughs> Staff, I didn't mean for this. I didn't <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I didn't mean for this. I didn't mean for, for us to get patriotic. <laughs> I will. Mm, mm. You know, what? I'll, I'll roll with it. I, you know what? I just think it's funny at this point. You guys, you guys are free to have as much fun as you want. As long as we're having fun, that's all that matters to me, all right? <sighs> oh my god. All right, <laughs> we we Balden and Claude. Oh my god, this is this is crazy. <laughs> I think this is really goofy, but it works so well. <sighs> okay, um, yeah. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. I need a moment to like breathe, by the way. <laughs> you guys are making this really funny for me, but like I don't <laughs> I just don't know how to <laughs> the, the the just the eagle and the freedom jokes are really funny. <laughs> good morning, USA. <laughs> uh 
Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, alright, alright. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. If Stav asks me why you guys started becoming patriotic, I will I will just say this is the will of the people. <laughs> In some ways, I have simply let them run free. For my chat is is not a lawless land, <laughs> but freedom. <laughs> Trust me, I can't I can't wait for us to play like we're gonna play any FPS at some point in time. We have a moment where we pop off and all of us just go rah. <laughs> I think I'm I'm all for it. I think this is funny. <laughs> How this devolved, I don't know. But in in the way that this will evolve, awesome. <laughs> you guys are <laughs> Oh my god. Some of these, some of these are just way too good, man. <laughs> Hoping the dono notification sounds raw. I think I'll record that. I, I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty sure I can just record that and edit that myself, and I'll do that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude. Actually, wait. That'd be so funny. Wait. What if I just made one of like the, uh, an alert sound? What the hell is a kilometer? I think. I think that would be pretty good. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, dude, the, this just gets funnier by the moment. <laughs> I'm gonna, oh my god, I'm gonna look back on this. I'm gonna be like, oh god, why did I make these choices? But at the same time, in some ways, I'm, I, I'm gonna have to say, I mean, I, <laughs> I made these choices. I made these choices consciously. So this is, yeah, this is on me. I let this happen. <laughs> oh, dude. The, the, we're, we're getting raw and what the hell is a kilometer is going to be awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe we've become so patriotic. I, I, I don't even have words anymore. This is all kind of awesome. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay, okay. Let's I'm gonna I'm gonna tone down just a little bit more. I think in some ways, uh I don't know, is it late for people? Are we are we good? I, I don't know if I wanna like uh <clears throat> Hmm. I'm like debating I'm like debating if I wanna keep going right now. I'm like I'd rather, I'd want to let you guys end on a high, but at the same time, you know, there, it, I could still keep talking if anything. Mm -hmm. it, it, it is Saturday. It is Saturday. I might end at like nine then, probably, just so that way I don't keep anyone up too late, especially you guys on the East Coast in particular. Continuing our anime discussion. I don't know what to discuss right now, to be honest. What time is it for me right now? It's like 830. Because it's not that late for me, by the way. Like, I... Don't, don't worry about it. If anything, my time is irrelevant, by the way. Like, trust me when I say it It doesn't matter. I will be awake at, like, dog o'clock, no matter what. Uh, but that's just because my sleep is super erratic. Um, typically, I usually only sleep maybe, like, four hours at a time. Which is crazy, by the way. Um, basically, it's hard for me to get full nights of rest. Um, I will get four hours and then wake up and I'll struggle to fall back asleep, basically. Uh, so I would do that. I would sleep for four hours, wake up, do work, go back to sleep for another four hours, and then just repeat, essentially. What's dog o'clock? It's like when I just either sleep at, like, an egregious time or I become Vanta and sleep at, like, I don't even know anymore. Because he's kind of, dude, the, the man streams like crazy, by the way. Just, just, just want to get that out of the way. Oh my god. Dude, I don't, I'm genuinely impressed by like the 10 hour Animal Crossing streams. Me? I'm sorry, okay? My, my brain 
cannot handle like that. I don't want to say that it's monotonous in any way possible because for some people it's like their cup of tea. But for me, I need like some sort of like very, like much stronger and much more involved stimulation in a way where it's like, oh, if I'm playing FPS, I have to focus up and it makes sense to me. You know what I mean? So whereas I feel like Animal Crossing is super, super mindless. It's, it's so easy to talk about, though. The other thing being is because FPS is so much more focused, like, I don't have the opportunity to talk nearly as much. But with Animal Crossing, it's super mindless, so you don't need to focus as hard so you can keep talking. And But at the same time, you know. <clears throat> so I'm impressed by the fact that he can do that for 10 hours. Like, that's crazy. Okay? I'm, I'm impressed. I, I want that level of stamina, uh, but <laughs> I don't know if I'll have that. I'll be able to... Pull that off either, dude. Vanta's on another level. Vanta and Scarla are both like, I don't know how they run that many hours, dude. I don't get it. I can't wait for your first endurance stream. Ugh. Ugh. Maybe, maybe. If there's a game that's like crazy that I really like, I'll probably do like a nine hour stream. Who knows? This is this is me like the day like a new new Souls like comes out or something. If like if if like Elden Ring 2 shows up, you know what I mean? This was me when like Bloodborne came out actually. Um I I played like 24 hours of Bloodborne when that came out. That was that was kind of Lies of P. I've thought about playing it. I don't know. I haven't had a chance to. I heard I was like kind of interested in, in it when um when the teasers got released or they were like saying like, "Oh, this new souls like is coming out. Be ready. Uh, or it was it was like, uh, oh, a, a take on the classic Pinocchio tale, you know, and I was like, oh, interesting. Um, so I thought about it, but at the same time, like because there was nothing out at the moment, I was kind of like, oh, am I like, is there anything to to watch or anything like that? And I, it kind of fell into my like, optics, basically. But if it's good, then uh, I'll, I'll probably, I, might, I might play it. Hollow Knight. I, I've been Hollow Knight on my own. Uh, Metroidvanias for me are okay. I just don't have the ability to like 100% games anymore. Like genuinely, it needs to be something that I'm like genuinely, genuinely like super, super into both like gameplay loop and lore wise, if that makes sense. Uh, how do you feel after uh, cups of coffee yesterday? Oh my God, I felt horrible. I woke up home. Okay. Well, in all fairness, I didn't eat. So that was another issue. Um... I woke up feeling like drained, like genuinely fuel tank empty. Uh, and I woke up at like 1 p.m. Uh, and I ended up going to the gym, like no food, no nothing, which didn't feel great. But I was like, OK, I can I can live with this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I uh, trust me. Well, I'm used to. OK, you guys need to also remember, like, I don't eat breakfast, by the way. Like I, I go to the gym and then I get my coffee and then I come home. And then I will eat whatever. I I try to try to keep myself fasted before I go and work out. Why would you do that? I hey limit testing limit testing. <laughs> it depends. It depends. All right. Like some people happen to like need to have some something before the gym. Some people can do it without. I do it without basically. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Breakfast for me is not crazy. Oh my god! Actually, I didn't put this in the the slides, guys. I don't like breakfast foods. Like this is this is this might be crazy, you guys. I really don't like breakfast foods, and it's not because like I don't like the taste or anything like that. It's just because like over the years growing up, um, I had such bad experiences with breakfast foods in particular. Like breakfast foods either made me really really sick, or I would just have to go to the bathroom constantly and it was not a good time. So it just left such a bad taste in my mouth to where like anytime I have breakfast foods, it just reminds me of that time. So I don't get like sick sick anymore, but it's like, I just don't like the taste of it because of it. <laughs> it <laughs> it's kind of like, <laughs> it's like, it's like in <laughs> memories, <laughs> the, the memories. Qua croissant? I'll have a croissant though. If it, it's like a snack, that's a little different. I feel like a croissant is like a snack. I wouldn't I would not call that a breakfast breakfast. You know what I mean? 
If it was like a croissant, who that was like a sandwich, cool. That was sick. I gotta give you guys as many ways to say croissant as I can. <laughs> Stomach problem is a hot girl thing? Uh, I don't know. Be careful. <laughs> oh, no. wait, that's, that's, oh my God. <laughs> That just reminded me, Zelly came in and this, he's coming in right after we got patriotic. It's so funny, actually. <laughs> oh my god. <clears throat> Baby girl, you might be allergic. I'm not allergic to anything, actually. Like, I'm... Generally, I'm okay with foods. Like, don't, don't worry about that type of stuff. Like, foods are okay with me. Um, generally, it's not... Never an issue, to be honest. Uh, the Lorax. Is that the one with the one slur? Was that, was that the thing? Was that the one? The one that like Tumblr blew up over and then they they hot hot uh, uh, tum Tumblr hottied him. Okay, now I want you guys to think about the Lorax or the one slur, but also think about oh my god, there was like someone someone posted fan art of this actually. It was, yeah, the Tumblr sexy man, but it was like the, the Tumblr from the new movie, the Tumblr from the new, the Onceler from the new movie, but the Onceler from like the old, old animated, uh, the, the original Onceler. And I was like, ooh, <laughs> spicy. Dude, the Onceler said, dude, oh my God. I was like, oh my God. Co the competition of sexy Tumblr men is crazy. I think whoever runs that is is absolutely insane, but they're so funny for that. <laughs> Lorex Beal headcanon. Uh, do you have any uh, favorite Mikito P songs since you mentioned him earlier? I like Shoujo Ray a lot. I think Alira Shoujo-Rei is really good, so... Yeah, shoujo is really good. There's a lot of Mikito P songs, actually. Um, his song, Esper, was is also really, really good. I love that style of music in particular, actually. Uh... Couple others is like, uh... Bellarico, Fukujuso... Uh... Actually, no, no, well... No, Fukujiso is like a different song entirely. My bad, my bad. Fukujiso, like he did a cover of it, I think. Actually, no. It, did he produce that? I can't remember anymore. I just know Fukujiso for some reason, like... Ah, I'm, 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 mi I'm mixing up the timelines, guys. The timelines. That's my bad. I'm like, I'm like trying to remember. I, I need to like fact check myself every once in a while. My, my like Vocaloid, Vocaloid uh, uh, history knowledge has, has been failing over time. Uh, hold up, hold up. What do we? How did we get here? How, why are we talking about Lorex BL? I don't know, man. I jump topics no matter what. It doesn't matter to me. I don't know. That's just my thing. Like typically, I don't. Uh, in some ways, like I'll stick to I'll stick to a topic sometimes at a time, but generally, I'll I'll talk about whatever I'm feeling like. You know, what's my gym routine? Uh, if you guys. <laughs> Are you guys? I don't know if this is like if this is like something people genuinely want. Hold up, let me. Ironically, I have this in like a, a spreadsheet. <laughs> I don't know. This is this is for like specific people, I guess. Because I, I don't know. If you guys really want my gym stuff, hold up. We're gonna, I'll, I'll show you guys real quick, I guess. Hold up, how do I, have studio mode, people. Oh my god, I got, I got, I got clowned super hard. <laughs> Cause I would forget to use studio mode, so like, they would see, see me like, inserting the image and everything. And this happened all the time. Alright, this is gonna cover chat real quick, by the way. Like, I, I apologize for this. Here, this is, uh... This is my, my usual. 
my usual routine. Um, it's changed over the years, especially. Uh, <laughs> I do most of these like every other day. Well, no, if anything, like, okay, so when it says like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it, it I don't follow that at all. Trust me. I, I literally just do push pull leg cardio. I don't, I try not to take too many days off of, um, off of the gym though. Uh, that being said though, I do add in a lot more, uh, bench and like chest in general. Uh, so right now, all right, whoever got your screenshot, get your screenshot in. Um, right now, what I'm pushing my working set. It's like two, 225, 225. And then my one rep max is like 265 right now. And then I squat two. I squat, I squat 225. I deadlift 225. Yeah, so that that those are my those are those are my numbers. <laughs> my my my, my SPD. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I care about being strong. I guess I I got I want I want to be physically fit. That that's important to me. I I may these hey these claws don't lift themselves. All right, I got you got you got to have arm strength for this. So I got I got to keep these things up. And as you can see. The guys, we gotta remember. I gotta. I, <laughs> this thing, this thing is up all the damn time. You think I? <laughs> you think I can put this thing down right now? <laughs> so of course we gotta be, we gotta be pretty strong. <laughs> but yeah, those, those are my, those are my, that's my gym routine. Uh, feel free to use that. Uh, unique to everyone, by the way. Unique to everyone. I've been doing I've been doing better though. Like recently, I I've been taking the initiative to really uh, work in more cardio because uh, that's something that I was just trying my best to start implementing more often. So every day, I've just been doing this thing where I'll go on the treadmill for like a minute extra at a time. So over the last month, I've just basically added one minute. Right now, I'm at like 27 minutes, just walking, just walking. Um. And I've been doing that since. I think that is what the way that I kind of view a lot of these things where it takes a lot of time to kind of implement. And the way to really do that is by easing yourself into it. You know, I will almost always recommend anyone, if you're trying to get started with something, if you're trying to find some, like a way to start making something be normal, you need to have it in a way or be in a way that it's easy for you to get into and you can actively see progression. That way it gets easier. It gets easier to remember because you realize like, oh, can I push this another minute? Oh, I walked 25 minutes yesterday. I could probably walk 26 today. And then you walk 26 today and you're done. You know, it's nice. I love cycling, but I'm not sure. If, no, cycling is cardio. Cycling is cardio. Don't worry about that. Uh, building it up is a good strategy. Yes, yes, absolutely, absolutely. Something for me right now is um like I want to implement more voice practice stuff. I want to sing more. I need I if anything I need a stronger foundation in terms of my voice. Um I really 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 want to work with a vocal teacher at some point in time actually. Uh I've never had a vocal teacher actually. Well, no. I've I've had a couple friends like coach me quote unquote. Um I've had a friend who did th like musical theater try to teach me for a couple of months. Uh, we would do like a session like a week basically for like two months uh, and he did teach me a lot of different things and different techniques but honestly I was kind of like uh, I, I, I learned a lot more just by experimenting a lot more. Yeah. <laughs> this chat is filled with ADHD I'm living for it. Yeah we, we jump around no matter what. We jump around no matter what. It's okay. Don't worry, you guys. I I'm I'm not super bothered by if we if we jump too much or if we go crazy. It's it's perfectly fine. Also, primarily because this is pretty, um, <clears throat> because it's pretty laid back. We don't need to we don't need to be too strict on ourselves right now. Uh, ma, ma, ma. which vocal series is better? Uh. Evilist Chronicles by Akuno P or Kagura Project by Jin. I grew up with Kagura Project. That was like one of my gateways into Vocaloid. 
So when when New DJP did the full uh, Kage Pro Relay, oh my god, you guys have no idea how much I was I was like I was like kicking my feet in the air. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> uh, favorite Kage Pro Project song? I like uh, Souls of Forest. Souls of Forest is my favorite. I it's so high though. Um, another one. Oh my god, I used to have like the MP3 for. What is it for headphone actor? That was like that was the one I replayed nonstop. I, I love it. What got you interested in voice acting? Um, honestly, I can't pinpoint like an exact time, so to speak. I think this was when. I was still in secondary and I was kind of like just confused if anything um because I didn't know what I wanted to do at some point in time I was like oh uh, I do a lot of this audio stuff but I don't know what I'm doing with like my own voice or anything like that and that's why I was I was never confident as a singer by any means so voice acting was another thing and I was like oh I'll join like these public projects or whatever the hell and I auditioned for these things and I recorded on like Oh my god, I used to record on like a blue Yeti in like a giant hallway. Basically, like it was just open space and it sounded horrible. Horrible. I, I look back on those those times and it was like, oh my god. <laughs> it 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 truly, it truly was uh mm. anyway. Uh I think at some point in time when I started doing more like uh narration related things and when I was, uh, obviously, like, I just do a lot more talking, like, audiobook related things. It's, that was when I kind of discovered, like, okay, maybe I do want to move more into trying voice acting, like, doing uh, voiceover work, you know. And I realized that narration in general and character work are very, very, very different. So... That was something that I kind of had to, I had a bit of shell shock, basically, uh, to where right now I one want to strengthen my, uh, you know, vocal strength in particular, as well as my acting skills. I think that's m the most important part. I think a good voice can only take you so far, but if you can't act, you can't act. You know. Okay. Uh, I don't know if you've already said something about this, but do you play any instruments? I played clarinet for about six years that that is the most that i've done and i mean i'm not i wouldn't say I'm, I'm good good by any means i that was that was very much so maybe like oh my god i i remember when i had tried super super hard and it was like what, like fourth chair basically and then at some point in time i like my I had my ego crushed and then i just gave up you know <laughs> That was kind of how it went. Um, ironically, though, clarinet, I think, taught me a lot of really bad speaking habits, unfortunately. Uh, what happened was, and because this is something very similar for a lot of like woodwind instruments or just any wind instrument, instrument in general, um, a lot of the time your embouchure and the way that you push air is significantly different from the way that you kind of speak and uh, talk or sing. And, you know, so um, because of that, whenever I started speaking, because I was playing clarinet a lot, I lost a lot of nasal resonance as a result. And it just started to feel like it, it's it started to sound like Squidward, you know what I mean? Like, like, hey, 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 you know, so it took me a long time to kind of uh, recognize that and find what exactly I was missing in my the aspect of my voice type beat you know uh it, it just it, it was something for me to learn more than anything <laughs> dude <laughs> I, I think about it it's like the, the, whenever we mention squidward i just think about the <laughs> still working the cash register squiddy <laughs> <laughs> oh no squilliam fancy <laughs> Uh, do you know the character Overhaul in My Hero Academia? He reminds me of you. I have gotten that comment so many times, guys. I I know. I know. Which, in all fairness, I'm pretty okay with. He's voiced by Suda Ken. I'm not going to complain. <laughs> oh, oh, no. He's hot. <laughs> yeah. 
You sound like a vill villager from Minecraft. You kind of sound like the Spotify when want a break from the ads guy. Oh my god. I <laughs> I can make so many parody jokes about that. Uh, do you have a specific Sira Kenjiro role that you like the most? Uh he well, he did Joker in Fire Force. I think Tsura Ken in Fire Force is so good. And Fire Force itself is not the best series in my opinion, like, by any means. But genuinely, his performance as Joker is sick. Uh, also, he's in... He is, he is Seto Kaiba in, in Cross Duel, so I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh... What other, what other, like, super memorable roles he did? I mean, he was in JoJo Part 5. I think, I think he did really good on that one, too. Oh, there's, like, one. He also did a Tales game, right? I think he was in, uh, uh Berseria, I think. He's, he's in a lot of stuff that I'm, I'm, like, trying to, like, actively remember. But genuinely, he's just such a great voice actor, and I'm, I'm a big, big fan. Golden Kamui, yes! Yes. Uh, can you try doing voice impressions of any E N? <laughs> um. Hey, <laughs> I'm I'm Shuyamino. Hey. Uh. Ka, ka, what what is happening? All I see is ka ka ka. What the what the hell is happening, G guys? Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Hello, Van Vanta, my boy. Hey, hey. <laughs> What's up? I hope you guys had a good fun time with Bigfoot. How's how how was that? I think you sound like my lord Vox. I don't guys, I'm sorry. I don't I don't know how to do the accent. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I'm really bad about accents. I don't get it. But yes, hello, Vanta and Vanta crew. I hope you guys had a wonderful time playing Bigfoot. Appreciate it. Have you had a good debut 2.0? Yeah, we've, been, we've just been chilling. Chilling and talking. Talked about tags. Finally got that done. And now now I'm free to free to be a menace on stream without without inhibition. I know I said it ended at 9, but I guess not. Not anymore. <laughs> God, the eagles, the eagles. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> God damn it. You stuck with Clart. I, I did not take Clart. I did not stick with Clart. But honestly, I think I think the new art tag is pretty fire. Vanta, Vanta, what are your thoughts on Picasso? I think it's pretty good. Picasso was pretty fire. The voices, the the birds, the birds are singing. The birds are loud. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you, you're my my Shuyamino impression. My my hey, I'm Shuyamino. Hey. Um. Yeah. Vanta go wait that's got a fire too though holy <laughs> it's pretty good yeah I don't yeah so Vanta as you can see uh somehow we ended up getting super patriotic for some reason I don't know why mostly just because it was pretty funny because I I saw the what the heck is a kilometer meme and then I was like damn we might as well just roll with it so now <laughs> Now, now we're stuck with eagles. I'm not gonna clarify this one, by the way. We're like, we're <laughs> it's kind of hype. Wilson, Wilson, my man's brother, was good. Eagle crow. <laughs> we we got we got eagles. We got crows. We got w w Wilson. <laughs> 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 
How you doing, Wilson? I didn't put, uh, yeah, sorry about that, guys. I haven't gone around to fully setting up my redirect settings, by the way. Like, I, I don't even, I forget to mod people, even. Like, I am literally having to mod people who show up in chat now, so that way I can get everyone. And I will probably do that uh, off stream sometime when I can. <laughs> oh my god. You guys are so. Raw! <laughs> You guys are so raw for this. <laughs> what was I talking about? I don't even remember anymore. My brain, like, my brain ran on like 20 miles an hour and then suddenly it came to a halt and I was like, what the hell just happened? I think it's mostly because I look at the, I look at the Eagles and like I just disassociated for a second. I was like, yeah. USA. <laughs> I'm sorry. I saw someone said someone freedom units. And I was like, <laughs> Welcome to Club America. <laughs> I th this is insane. I don't know how. I don't know how we got so patriotic. Oh my god. This, this is so funny. <laughs> Next thing you know, I'm calling my rules the Constitution. Like, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> this is gonna be like a signed contract. You guys need you guys need you guys need to be you guys need to be ready to agree to that before you join chat. Like this is <laughs> Oh my god. Actually, this is kinda funny. Maybe, maybe I will make this later. It's called soccer. <laughs> that was. I'm gonna keep that one for later. I think. Oh my god. <laughs> my face hurts more so from smiling. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's the funniest part. <laughs> True Patriots. The Patriots. Me me Metal Gear. Ah, <laughs> oh, what, what was that again? It's like... Go government espionage. Me Metal Gear. Mind control. Uh, uh, Liquid Snake. <laughs> Lolly <Lulu Lilo. laughs> Oh, God. I do want to play Metal Gear, actually. Like, I, I, oh my god. I, I never mentioned that. You, okay, you guys, um, ironically, I never really talked about a lot of the games, other games I played on, on like, on my own time. Um, okay, so, beyond FPS, we're gonna, we're gonna talk way past that, because I just didn't list them, basically. I, I kind of gave you, I, I feel like I gave you guys a false impression that I'm just an FPS gamer, actually. Um, no, um, I used, I have, like, the full collection of, like, Metal Gear Solid. Uh, I have, uh, 2, 3, and 4, and then I have the digital copy of 5. Uh, my... I have, like, my super, super old PS, like, the original PlayStation with, uh, the first Metal Gear, uh, at the Academy, basically. Yeah. So, I, I, dude, I cannot wait. I, I really want to play... Some more Metal Gear. I've been wanting to play Revengeance too, actually. The, the the original PlayStation with Uno? It comes free with Uno. I I don't have it. What do you What do you mean you don't have it? <laughs> nah, but yeah, I I used to play a lot. I used to play a lot of other games. Like I play a lot of Souls games too, actually. Uh, I remember when Elden Ring came out. I played for 36 hours straight and then I passed out and then I beat the game and I was like awesome and then I never I just I was like all right cool I won and then I, I just called it souls souls I haven't beat Sekiro though Sekiro is like the one game that I kind of passed on which I'm kind of interested in doing but we'll see we'll see yeah Bloodborne is okay 
I love Bloodborne, and not only for the gameplay, but also just the aesthetic. I I really love that gothic style. I think that's what kept me from kept me playing pretty much. But yeah, Liza P, you guys mentioned it, so I'll probably consider it soon. Uh, once I have more of an idea of the, like things that I want to do, but genuinely, it is something that I kind of do want to play. What genre of games do you want to get into? Hold on one second. Um. Oh my god. I really want to learn SF6 right now. Street Fighter. I think that was uh, one thing. My, one of my friends offered me uh, a stick, so I'm like, okay, I might I might take him up on the offer, and he might like teach me a little bit. Uh, so I do want to get, get into SF6. I do want to learn Luke, mostly just because, one, he's voiced by Alex Lee, and two, uh, it's funny. Also, it, it seems, it, he seems pretty, like, uh novice friendly in comparison for reference like i don't know like i come from guilty gear where i played um i play a lot of ramlethal uh yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> you don't necessarily need to stick uh fight stick for sf6 i prefer stick to be honest like i like the arcade feel i don't know i was talking to shu about it and shu mentioned like oh i should just get a snack box and i was like ooh, i might because I know snack boxes are like not super, super cheap, but like they're a little more accessible. Yeah, I, I love Guilty Gear. Guilty Gear is fun. I have not yet had time to get the pass for Johnny, though. I've been wanting to play Johnny for a while. Uh, are you going to play Minecraft anytime soon? I probably probably sometime later. Uh, I haven't thought about it yet because I need a plan around when I'd want to one. Uh, join the Minecraft server and to do my solo run. You know what I mean? I'd have to figure it out. Uh, do you know the game is called Skullgirls? It's another fighting game. Okay. Skullgirls? I love Skullgirls. And I love Big Band. <laughs> there is a super, super... Uh, there is a, there's so many clips of Big Band. Oh my god. The Big Band happy birthday clip where... He does a happy birthday, and then he plays happy birthday on the trumpet and just wins. And I think that is the funniest clip of all time. And then there's the other one where it was like, big band, happy birthday, into <laughs> Cruel Angel's Thesis. <laughs> and I think that one is the funniest clip ever. It is so BM, but I love it. <laughs> Uh, question, uh, your like, time for streaming is gonna be like this, hours, or will it change? It will change. Um, typically I'm probably gonna start, so for example, like, I'm probably gonna start when Vivi starts, in comparison, so instead I will probably be taking, like, the 1pm time slot. Uh, usually, usually. However, that is to say, I will probably be going based on what times are comfortable for me and what I can do. So if I'm if I'm busy on like a Wednesday or something like that, um, I might do something like close in the evening or anything like that. Um, there will be occasions where I might do gorillas like early in the morning, like seven eight a.m. Usually, because I wake up at like uh, my okay. My usual routine is wake up at like five, gym at six, get back at like seven, and then I'm I just work throughout the morning. But I did want to offer. Uh, an occasional early like JP time stream probably is this PSD? Is this, I'm talking in PSD, so I did want to do that to offer other time zones and be accommodating for that as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't don't call it a healthy sleeping schedule, you guys. You guys realize like I don't. I only sleep when I have to. To be honest, like if I, I only I pretty much only sleep when I'm tired. Ooh, how do you wake up at five? Uh, I wake up, I have to get up because my phone is not next to me and my phone is on the ground. Uh, oh, right. <laughs> I forgot to mention, um, I've been trying to get rid of my bed frame. Uh, I kind of don't really care about my bed frame, you know? And you guys can call this male living space. I'm going to be honest, like, I'm cool sleeping on a mattress on the floor. It's not like I don't sleep on the floor already as is, not going to lie. <laughs> Why do men live like this? Okay, listen. It's just easy. Alright? Less things, less less clutter, less things to worry about. 
Sorry about the mold. Okay, I don't know how that works. Mattress can mold the bottom. I actually didn't know that, by the way. Um, in all fairness, I've considered getting like a futon, like a rollout futon instead. I think that was what I was trying to lean more towards because I, I realized like for me personally, I'd like a lot more room space. You know what I mean? I want a little more wiggle room to kind of shift around. And I think that was what was frustrating me. So I've been trying to get rid of my bed for a while. Yeah. But that being said, like my phone is like across the room. I, I try not to sleep with my phone anymore. Like I don't even have, trust me, I don't even have Twitter on my phone, by the way. I've, I've done so many things to try and keep myself off of like social media for too long. Uh, I don't really like, trust me when I say when I'm at, tweeting at you guys, I'm literally sitting at my computer being like, I'm going to tweet something obnoxious and be annoying right now. So, that is that is my general like <laughs> those are my general operations. You know what I mean? I just try to be annoying on Twitter. I'm like, I'm going to say something. To, I'm going I'm to be quirky. I'm going to be a little slay. I'm going to do something stupid right now. And then I, I get off and I go live a normal life. I think it's so funny that you guys are like, oh my god, he's so baby girl coded. And I'll be like, awesome. Because trust me when I say, like, I'm probably just like the most normal guy you could probably meet too. <laughs> Listen, we gotta, we, dynamic, you need to have a range, all right? Like, you gotta, you gotta be flexible. All right. <laughs> You can still slay? Yeah. <laughs> you want to slay? Let's slay. <laughs> Claude, I wake up, I hit my head on the roof, then I cry, I want, oh, then watch your lives, and maybe other ones if I'm in the mood, but don't know when, and then I go to sleep and wake one up, wake up one hour later. Kind of crazy, but I mean, hey, at least you're watching. <laughs> Baby Goral, this is a free country. <laughs> It sounded like my lord. I don't know. Yeah, my, my chamber impression is, is the only thing that keeps me going. Uh, what's your wish for the future, though? Uh, perform live. I really want to do... I really want to do a 3D, too, actually. I think performing 3D live on stage would be really, really cool. And if I have the opportunity to do, like, really cool original stuff, too, I think... I want to try and do more original music at some point in time. I think something that like I do want to try and like the general genre is something similar to like what uh, DPR Ian does right now where he does a lot of really experimental and lore centric music uh, that still fit within the KRNB genre. Uh, that's just the direction that I really, really want to go in. You can sing, right? Will you cover some songs? Oh, I mean, I covered one song. <laughs> awesome. Mission accomplished. Would you ever want to do a convention? Yes, I love conventions. I would love to be a guest at a convention. Please, if at any point in time you want to see me at a convention, please let whatever uh, convention staff know that, uh, hey, I want Claude Clawmark at X convention. That'd be really, really cool. And then they can ask uh, they can ask staff, and then staff will be like, do you want to do this? And I'll be like, hell yeah. Will you cover Desire someday if they give me the instrumental? <laughs> Uh, who from Niji and would you like to do a collab with the most? Uh, whoever, whoever is willing to. <laughs> nah, once we, once we, once, once I am free after this week, uh, me and Schubert are gonna play some Val. Just, for, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna hop con. I don't know if we'll full stack, but we'll hop con. What's your MBTI? I actually don't know. I, I like vaguely remember. I used to take the quizzes and I just I would just be like, oh, okay. And then I just forget. I think it was like ESFP or something. And then I think all of my friends are like INFPs or whatever. Something like that. I don't I don't know. But yeah. Um have you heard have you heard of the milligram series? Yes. I actually I don't follow nearly as closely though, unfortunately. You can take the quiz again on a Zatsushim. Oh, true, actually. What's your Valor rank? Uh, I don't want to, I'm not, I don't know. I don't want to give you, the thing being is like, I don't like talking about my ranks um, because I don't want to flex anything. I think it's, my performance can be inflated too much by that, you know? 
it's it's almost entirely the fact that like say for example like oh if i say like i'm <laughs> i'm a mortal three just so you know you know what i mean and it's like such a bad flex and then like let's say for example like i play really badly on stream then it's like you're a model dude Ugh, dude, dude you're boosted you're so boosted man and i'll be like <laughs> yeah yeah, so, I mean, I try, I try not to mention my ranks by any means. It's, like, I, I think I more so want to let my performance speak for itself. And in most cases, you know, I'll do my best. I like playing my best. That's fine. I lost track of time. I also lost track of time. I, I realize now it's been almost three hours. Holy. Uh, are you familiar with Paradox Live? Yes! I, think, I actually really like Paralive. Paralive also, for some reason, has Suave. I, it's kind of confusing, but it's really funny. <laughs> Curious to know if you have a skincare routine. I do. I do. I I think right now, I really only use a cleanser, toner, moisturizer. So I use three products right now. I don't use too much because, frankly, like, like my skin's not too bad. So usually I don't have to. It's only three. Um... I've thought about adding more sunscreen. I don't go out. Uh, I don't go out in the sun that often. Um, I only really go out in the mornings when the sun's not out, and like at night when I have to get food. I'm really bad about sunscreen. Like sunscreen makes me feel super cakey, so I don't. I tend not to. Like I've been meaning to incorporate it more, so that way I don't burn too easy like throughout the day. But frankly, like I mean, I'm I'm glistening right now, so whatever. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, granted, like, for me, I think the way that I view skincare is, like, I think at uh, most cases, I, I okay, <laughs> all right, I, I'll get the elephant of the elephant in the room. Uh, yes, I have a separate shampoo and conditioner. I don't use two in one, three in one, whatever the hell. Uh, I use separate products. Thank you very much. Th thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let's just make sure of that. All right, cool. Um, I don't know. It's for me, I like feeling clean. You know, I don't like feeling super like caked up or sweaty or like that. Um, so, and yeah, I don't like, that's why I don't like being sweaty. It just makes me feel super, super gross. So I try to, t I try my best to take care of myself, uh, both skincare wise, uh, hair product wise, body wash wise, like everything. Uh, just so I can, you know, I feel good. I feel good. I feel good about my body. feel good about, you know trying to be healthier take, and, and just generally like taking care of myself is the is the most important thing I guess so obviously it is kind of expensive at some point in time like you can't if it, it, it gets expensive at some point in time and uh, you gotta make do with what you have which is understandable uh, but at the same time you know those are the types of purchases where I am like this is I am buying this with in explicit with intent, you know? So I don't mind making that purchase. Yeah, it, it's a well investment, and I under, I recognize that it's an investment within myself. I guess in his profession, it's good to stay clean. A healer must be ready for anything, which is true, which is true. I do need to kind of be as clean as possible because if anything happens, <clears throat> I'm in trouble. Who said car oil? <laughs> Baby girl getting zesty? I won't, I won't say zesty. Uh, do you not like sweets since you don't like fruits? Uh, I think it's changed over time. I'm not too crazy about f fruits, but sweets are okay. Uh, but it can't be too sweet anymore. Like, I I think I recently have slowly fallen out of, like, the brown sugar craze, basically. Um, and I've switched over to more fruit teas, but I don't do anything, like, like 50% fruit tea. I'll mostly do, like, 100% fruit tea instead. But if I do do, like, brown sugar, then it's, like, 50%. Uh, do you play any sports? I mean, not really, like, play sports. Uh, I mean, I still cycle here and there. I just don't really do any, like, ball sports. We, we've been over this. I don't do ball sports. I just, I can't. I don't have the hand-eye coordination for it. And I just pop whatever ball that I happen to grab because I have big, big magic claws, you know? Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't ball, but I do ball. <laughs> I... I don't play ball, but I'm balling. <laughs> Do you keep your kitchen sink clean? Uh, most cases, yeah. I try to. <laughs> uh, 
Um, 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 uh, how often do you think about the Roman Empire? Uh, maybe like once or twice a week. How did you discover VTubers? Maybe a story for another time. Maybe for another time. You guys, you guys will hear that one later. <laughs> uh, do you cook? I do cook. I haven't cooked recently, food-wise, but I've been cooking on this on this stream, by the way. <laughs> uh, Claude, do you know rhythm games like uh, Project Sekai? I know Project Sekai. I mean, I try to play rhythm games. I'm just not good. Not really, not good at rhythm games. Uh, what are your thoughts on dishwasher steak? I don't think you should use your dishwasher to cook steak, but I think you should use your dishwasher. By the way, dishwashers are kind of fire. Growing up, I was I was that I was the kid who used to hand wash everything, and then after I had left uh, and to be on my own, I started using a dishwasher, and I was like, "Oh my god! Oh, it's so easy! I don't. I throw it in. I turn it on." Two hours later, it's done. Gasp! It's crazy, and then now I never have to I have to worry about it again. Like it's so good. <laughs> Tell me you wash your rice. I wash my rice. Don't worry, don't worry. I, I know how to do it. <laughs> do you always clean after cooking? I yeah, I usually don't eat until everything's clean. Actually, like my order. I know some people do the thing where it's like they cook, eat, clean. Or, but for me, like, I cook clean, then eat. Like, I, I, not to say that I leave it to, like, be cold, but I usually do my best to keep my spaces as clean as possible before I start eating. Do you have a rice cooker? I do have a rice cooker, thankfully. <laughs> Are you confident in your gaming abilities to play Mario Party with your genmates or senpai? Ooh. I'll have you know. <laughs> Oh god, I have a horrible story, but oh, I can't. I don't think I can tell this one. <clears throat> let's just say, let's just say, I've had one too many wins taken away from me because of bonus stars. I will, I will never forgive certain people for their their crimes against me because of <laughs> because of bonus stars. <laughs> bonus stars will, will oh, bonus stars break my heart, dude. You have no idea. <laughs> would you collaborate with your medic senpai yeah at some point in time i'd love to again like i i would wholeheartedly love to collaborate with everyone within en it's 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 a very very nice feeling and i'm super grateful to be here and honestly like i think it'd be a fun time to vibe with anyone and everyone you know what i mean there are literally pity rewards i know i know Uh, the ma -ma -ma. would you ever do ASMR? Um, it's a tough one. I don't know. <laughs> Mario party together soon. Just don't play with Ren. You will cry and be una unable to be mad at him. He's too nice. Is he like the type? I feel like Ren is like this like shining ray of hope. You know what I mean? I'm so sorry. I like like blew into my mic, but he is like this. He is like this interesting like. Think of think of like like amongst amongst the flames and ruins. Basically, he alone stands like shining, uh, like like Buddha hand sign, like peace. <laughs> I think it's so funny. Just this concept that that he is he is Zen. He's just too nice. Interesting, interesting. Good to know. Good to know. Yeah, Ren the Disney Princess. <laughs> Is it just me or that do the people with the most innocent faces and what? Innocent faces and voices have the dirtiest minds. Help! I don't. I don't remember. Hey, Gap. I guess. <laughs> Zen Roto. <laughs> Bro is literally tranquility. Yeah. <laughs> Man, at some point in time, I'd, I'd love to play Mario Party with a lot of other people. I'm not gonna lie. I think my biggest thing was like, in in it's a weird one. Um, I I do actively want to try and set up a thing where I can at least do, um, what is it? 
I'd love to be able to do like at least one collab with other EN people, maybe like once a week or so, maybe maybe two or three times a week, basically. I want to be able to host that. Um, however, obviously, like I still want to offer you guys the opportunity for solo streams regardless. <laughs> but it's it's interesting. I, I'd have to think about it. Uh, ma, ma, ma. Would you play horror games with your senpai? Yes, absolutely. I watched the, um, when Meliko and Ver did FNAF. I would do that one. I think those are really funny. Toilet paper or bidet? I've had a bidet, but I've never installed it. So I actually haven't tried it yet, but I, I use toilet paper. <laughs> Uh, do you have any plans to stream Japanese? Nihongo uh, deki nai. Hanasanai desyo. At some point in time. At some point in time. Nihongo muri des. No, I genuinely like my pronunciation is not up to par and also my reading speed isn't either so I've it's been taking me a bit to slowly and surely like practice again uh someone mentioned battle network I just saw a second ago I think I'm planning on playing five or six next week I really want to play six six battle network six is one of my all-time favorites and then battle network five I think is iconic because it has P pvp now when I was watching uh like the jp side when kuzuha kuzuha and like everyone was like I, rem I remember kuzuha saigusa Ibrahim Fula playing Mega Man Battle Network 5 PvP. And I was like, that is really cool. So I can't wait to do that one. Uh, I don't drink alcohol, unfortunately. Well, actually, is that unfortunately? No, I just don't. It's not my thing. I don't like the taste of alcohol. It's bitter and it makes me feel gross. And uh, anytime I do drink, I'm, I'm super lightweight, by the way. Like I drink like a little bit. Uh, I get one super sleepy and I get super headachey. And then I just lay on the floor and I sleep. Yeah, so I, I tend not to drink. I, I, I'll drink a little bit, you know, at most, but I, I try not to. How do you think you and your genmates would do survival-wise in the future Niji Crab Game collabs? Well, okay, this is a tough one because I don't know how the other two are at platformers. Uh, based on my Crab Game performance? I don't play to lose. <laughs> no drunk Zatsu then? I mean, okay. I won't say that it's off the table. I won't say it's off the table. Like at some point in time, like I'll maybe offer it. Um, however, just know it will n never be to a point where I am like blackout drunk or anything like that, or uh, to the point where I can't control myself. Like I, it is wholeheartedly like I need to be able to have a sense of what what's the right word? I don't even know. Not security, but like I need to be within this, my own senses still. So just remember that. Like, I, I'd be happy to still do it, but um, within reason. You don't have to, it's your choice? Thank you. Control, control, yeah, sense of self, I guess is more accurate, but just live off your sugar high from soda? Yeah, I, that is also why, like, I drink, I just drink a lot of soda instead. Soda gives me so much more joy <laughs> than alcohol. Yeah, that that is that is the thing to say to others though. Like similarly, like if you do plan on drinking or anything like that, uh, be responsible. Uh, know your limits. Uh, if you do want to push it, like be with a friend at the very least, or be with someone who you know can take care of you. So be be responsible. Be careful. Favorite soda? Personally, personally, I like Diet Coke. I drink a lot of Diet Coke. I like diet sodas, actually. But that's just because I kind of care about, like, calorie intake now. Soda tea list? I can't really do a soda tea list, unfortunately. You like Diet Coke? Okay, now all of you guys are... Uh, this is... People go crazy about this one because people are just like, You like Diet Coke? I, I, listen, it's okay. It's okay. You're planning on doing karaoke streams in the future. Yes, we talked about this. Uh, later. Yes. Diet Coke is worse than regular. No, 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 no. It is not worse by any means. They are. I believe. I believe they are all created equal. 
Whether you be Dr. Perky or a renowned brand. Anything <laughs> I'm joking though. Like like generally though, like it's just generally like whatever diet soda is cool with me. It hits. It hits. <laughs> oh my god. Ah, our founding clother. Oh my god. Do you listen to BLCDs? Ah, uh, I have some. I don't listen to them often. I will say that much. I've I've tried and listened. <laughs> I can't believe I've started a republic. <laughs> it's kind of awesome. Uh, what else do we got? Do you like sweets? Uh, okay, we, well, we talked about this. Like, I can handle sweet things, but, like, I can't go too crazy anymore. I think genuinely over the years, it's gotten harder and harder to stomach. Yeah, I, dude, every time I just say something, like, generally, <laughs> like, like, patriotic, suddenly the eagles pull up. It's kind of funny. Oh my god. <laughs> um Hmm. What else do we got? What else do we got? Now I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think of like other games I, I generally play in general. Like, oh right. Actually, so um speaking of battle network there's a there's like a not a spin-off but there's a game that has like a very similar format that is a roguelike actually called uh one step from eden i love that game oh my god one step from eden is just so unique because i love the way that they have such like the, each character has like a different class and like different like signature skill and it just changes the way that you play the game so well like there's one character in particular that basically Deals damage based on the amount of currency you have, which I think was such a cool concept. So there was a way basically to just farm money and you can just one shot whatever the hell you want with like a two, if you had 2k. It was pretty good. Do you remember your first five star in Genshin? Um, I rerolled like 15 accounts trying to get Diluc. D Luke was my was my, the the five star that I'd wanted the most, so I I tried really hard and, and the final account that I used was D Luke. Um, yeah, it was it was brutal, dude. I remember yeah, re remember when D Luke was good. <laughs> have you played Fire Emblem? I played most of the Fire Emblems. Uh, I don't have my 3DS anymore, but I used to play a lot of the 3DS ones in particular. Uh, which one? But other one, other ones that I've played like before, before. Um, I did play Sacred Stones for the uh, on the Advance. Uh, Path of Radiance in the GameCube. I didn't play Radiant Dawn, but I know what happens. Uh, Shadow Dragon. I did play Awakening Fates. Uh, I skipped Shadows of uh, Valencia. Uh, I haven't played Three Houses, and I haven't played Engage yet, though. Do you like Smash? I'm not good at Smash. I like watching Smash, though. Like, I genuinely am so bad at the game, but, like, genuinely, I love watching competitive Smash. It's really fun. Um, Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Any Final Fantasy? Ooh. Okay. Final Fantasy, I'm not too super well-versed in. Like, I've played mainline games. I played, like, a little bit of 14 for a while, but honestly, like, it just... I can't commit super hard to MMOs. Quite frankly. Uh I'd have to I'd have to think back. Because that's a, that's a lot of games actually. What type of metal do you like? I metal is hard for me to discern because I can't really uh I don't have a really big opinion on metal. Like all metal in general I will listen to. Okay. Kingdom Hearts is one of my absolute favorites, though, actually. I love Kingdom Hearts. I will just say. I will, I, mm. Sephiroth in two 
is like the hardest thing I've ever had to experience beyond like the secret boss. Like, oh my God. Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, I've beaten 3, but I haven't played the DLC yet. So I haven't played the data battles, which I was I was planning on doing on my own time. Uh, do you have a comfort anime or manga, or do you have any recommendations for comfort ones? Comfort? Okay, comfort and like rewatches are interesting. Um, personally, if I just want to get something done and I want to have something in the background, I will put... I will put on Bleach in the background, actually. Like, I'll start from episode one, basically. <laughs> um, that's my comfort, like, my comfort watch. Um, but Chihaya Fudu, Chihaya, I, I, put on, I put that one on the slide. Chihaya Fudu, all three seasons and the manga itself are absolutely amazing. I love, I love, love, love it. It's great. It's so nice to see someone so passionate about something and to feel the, like these, like, these loose connections slowly forming. Or not loose connections, but basically, like, you know, reconstructing bonds you had with uh, someone you had so long ago. You know what I mean? So it's a very, very nice feeling. What is your favorite Bleach opening? Um, Right now, it's the second opening of the new season, the of Stars from WOD. Uh, I love Ranbu No Melody. <laughs> Aqua Times. D Techno Life. I, I love honestly bleach openings really hit for me. <laughs> uh favorite captain. I don't mm, that one's tough. Okay, because the thing is, is it's spoiler territory. I don't know what I can say. Like, can can I assume that everyone knows? Can I assume that everyone knows? Am I allowed to say like I can't do this thing where it's like, oh my god, but I it's so old. Like I expect you guys to know what happens, but like you guys need to be like confirm with me that it's okay. Um Okay, so my personal favorite captain is uh, Shinji. I love Shinji as a character. Uh, ooh. I'm trying to think. I mean, okay. If you guys know, you guys know. But I love Unahana. Unohana is based because oh my god the recent season with Unohana oh cooked that was crazy uh yeah Unko Stray Dogs I'd have to think about that one too I, I can be super generic and say that I like uh, Dazai but that's also just because it's Mamo you know what I mean uh, but I also like Dopo a lot, and also because he's Hosea, um, and uh, Rumpo. Mostly Rumpo, though. I think Rumpo takes a cake, actually. Whoa, flashbang be upon ye. Yeah. We have, we have so many, like, converging... <laughs> oh, so many things. Suigi... Oh... Okay, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say this right now. Soigiku. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm pretty. I'm. Mm -hmm. uh, favorite skate the infinity character, please. Ah, uh, ba ba ba. Cherry. I think Kaoru. Kaoru and. Uh, <laughs> oh dude his his little oh my god <laughs> Kaoru and, and Kojiro's <laughs> their their dynamic is super super cute I think it's really funny um I also I also really do like uh, Kojiro though mostly uh, but also because his uh, English voice actor is uh, Jonah Scott yeah he's cool I like Jonah Scott <laughs> Have you watched Yuri on Ice? I have watched Yuri on Ice. No, I'm not crazy about it, but you know. <laughs> so you like the dub? It's not that I'm crazy about the dub necessarily. And I, I think this is another thing. All right, guys, we, okay, I, let me get this out of the way real quick. Um, And in the event that this ever does come up again. All right. I'm not going to go down the whole sub versus dub situation, right? Uh, I think both are equally as good. I personally 
like watching sub more often because I love the way that the original Japanese voice actors do their deliveries, right? Dub, on the other hand, is interesting because you are having to localize a lot of these translations and lines in a way that it sounds natural for someone who speaks English. You know what I mean? Because it's really difficult. That is that is something that I think a lot of people don't like kind of fail to realize with uh, dubs in particular. It takes a lot to make a lot of the lines that are said in Japanese sound natural. But I do think dubs are pretty okay. Some may not be the best in comparison. Sometimes you want to watch like the the original sub because that inherently that performance is just so much more raw in comparison. That being said, though, in most like, for example, like I would watch Cowboy Bebop in dub no matter what. I think Steve Bloom did a phenomenal job at Spike and and just all the characters all around. Like it just it just fits so much better. Uh, Pacano is another good example of a really, really good dub. Uh, OK, no, I, I, no, I see this right now. Dubs depend on the skills of it. No, I, I will not. I will not dumb down the entirety of a dub to solely just the skills of a VA in particular. I will say that it comes down to the entire directorial team your va is supposed to be able to do whatever character you hire them to do that that is yeah obviously the skill of the va but but if the director gives the pass on a bad take that is on the director's hands does that make sense like it is it is almost entirely everyone's decision in this case sometimes you might give a bad take and the va will be like hey i don't think this take was very good in the like in the booth and they're just like can i do a retake and they're like yes that's fine and if the director agrees and it's like yeah just go ahead retake it that's fine but i again i would almost never uh i don't know i guess that's the other thing right i would almost never want to put full not blame or anything like that or fault anyone in particular for the performance of an entire dub you know what i mean it is a, yeah trust me when i say it is a very very complex process there is a lot that goes into doing dub stuff and i truly have so much respect for these people yeah so again like a lot of these people are, are trying you know and I, I i do believe that everyone is equally as much trying to uh hone their craft you know, and sometimes you might be hired to just do a job. And frankly, you might give a take that you're not at all happy with. Um, and that's that's kind of just how it goes sometimes. Yeah, I genuinely think people don't respect uh, English voice actors nearly enough. Like unless you're like a pretty renowned one, people you, people kind of give you like a nasty look. I love how respectful you are. It's amazing. I, and I don't think it's like an amazing thing, to be honest. Like, I think it's something that I've kind of learned over time where uh, everyone is equally as much trying to do or trying to achieve something and you trying to work as hard as they can to do what they want to do or be the person that they want to be. And I wholeheartedly want to believe that anyone doing their best is deserving of respect. Does that make sense? So that's why I try to kind of impart that to the best of the, to, 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 to the best that I can. You know what I mean? I, I want you guys to be come off as respectful. And if in any event that uh, someone comes to me and is like, oh my God, your chat is respectful. That tells me that you guys are doing your job too. Yeah. Stay humble. You're doing great so far. I think that's another thing, right? Like I, on one hand, I, I greatly appreciate that you guys do say these very nice things about me too. Uh, I do. I'm trying to get better about vocal, uh, not vocalizing, but internalizing uh, compliments. And that's something I don't want to start. I, I, before I used to deflect a lot. I used to do the thing. I'm just like, no, you know, oh no, it's, it's bad. It's garbage. You know, uh, oh, I, I, I didn't do that good. You know, it's something that I think has greatly hindered a lot of the progression that I've made over the years. And something that I think everyone can take the heart of, let yourself feel the praise and let yourself understand that, uh, when people do compliment you in that way, that by no means is it supposed to be like a jab at you, right? It's to tell you that you're doing a good job and that people are properly acknowledging that. So that's my take on it. I hope you guys, hope you guys can take that to heart. <laughs> 
<laughs> ah. <laughs> what, what's one anime you recommend watching? Bleach. <laughs> yeah, sorry. We're, we're, I'm, I'm jumping the gun. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, again, I, I hope you guys, hope you guys are, are okay. Just remember, stay, stay, be good people, be good people, you know? Uh, there, okay, someone, no, someone mentioned this, and you didn't have to retract it, by the way. Like, I, I do plan on playing Persona 3, by the way. <laughs> I can't sing the line, oh my god, because, ah, I don't want to get in trouble. I tr I've been trying so hard not to, like, sing songs on stream, because I feel like I'll get in trouble if I do. <laughs> oh my god, the, no when, when you feel like number one. Oh, you have, oh my god, you have no idea how often I listen to that to the um the newly uh, released track the number one track at the gym <laughs> yeah oh my god i oh my god i think that's another thing i think when people bleach bleach gets such a bad rap because of when it got taken out of when it wasn't like serialized anymore i think there was an early period of time where basically bleach took a huge hit because the anime had to catch up or rather there was no new chapters for the anime to do right so the anime had to do filler arcs and then people just were just like Ugh, bleach yeah i think i genuinely think people need to like give bleach another chance it's it it deserves its spot as one of the big three in my opinion that's all that's that's my take no disrespect to uh the others no disrespect to naruto no disrespect to uh one piece i think all are equally good series you know but i do think that yeah, I think it's a. I think Bleach is a good series that deserves respect. All I'm saying. Ah, it's that whole explanation Gintama had about it. Yeah. Oh God. Oh my God. Oh, oh the Sun Pact of Rebellion. Oh my God. Because that's also crazy. Because now that's like technically canon. It's technically canon. It was a. It was a filler arc, but kind of can't like put into the canon because of. Uh, what is it? Because of uh, Toshiro. Like, legitimately, I think Toshiro himself had <laughs> basically canonized a filler arc. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, any gamer? Um, uh, okay. Oh, mm. okay. The bount arc. We don't talk about the bount arc. <laughs> I want to pretend that didn't happen. What was your first anime? Ooh! When I first started watching stuff, I watched... It was Reborn, actually. Hitman Reborn. That was my... That was my... That was one of my favorites, actually. I love Reborn. I I, I don't know if that, it like, brings up old memories for some people, but, dude, it was... That was one of the early ones that I really, really liked. This is like the same feeling of like when I when I also watch like Pandora Hearts and everything like oh my god. Underrated anime. I want Reborn to get a reboot so bad. I I was I feel so bad when I got baited super hard. When people were tweeting from like those like fake like anime news sources and they were saying like oh my god Reborn's getting a reboot and I was like no. And they're People, people who spread, uh, who spread uh, lies and misinformation <laughs> on the internet. <laughs> Just so. <laughs> Blue, oh, right. Yeah, Blue Exorcist is coming back. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, I love Pandora Hearts. Pandora Hearts was sick. But Pen Pandora Hearts? Ooh. We're getting the Alira Pandora edition, dude. <laughs> spicy, spicy. <laughs> uh, thoughts on uh, Bunker Strike Season 5 ending? I haven't actually had a chance to like go through and catch up recently with the anime. I, I read a lot of Bunker Stray Dogs. Uh, I'm probably going to sit down and like watch a lot sometime soon when I'm free. Because honestly, now that things are starting to lighten up, and technically, like as long as I just need to stream to you guys, and I can kind of relax a little bit more, uh, I'll probably get be able, I'll probably be able to finally have some time to just watch stuff.
Uh, would you say you have Riz? I wouldn't say that I have Riz. I just think I talk a lot. Yeah. I talk a lot and I talk fast. <laughs> so I think I think that's how it goes. Uh, he's a tip after you beat 2016. You play Doom Eternal, then you play his Rhythm Enhanced Children. His son, that being BPM. I've played BPM. I can't do it for the life of me. Metal Hellsinger? I've never heard of that one. But I'm excited to play in 2016. Unintentional and awkward Riz. Hey, don't call me awkward. <laughs> don't, don't, don't call me awkward. <laughs> do you want to sing a duet with anyone in particular? Uh, I'd love to be able to do a duet with Kotaka and Meloko, actually. Because I I really, really love their stuff. I think it'd be really fun. And oh, oh my dream, my dream duet is uh, Watarai. <laughs> Hey, if I could do something with Watarai, oh, it's over for me. Watarai said bye. Hey. <laughs> uh, in terms of video games, are you interested in playing anything in the horror genre? If so, I recommend any puppet combo game. I've never heard of puppet combo, so I don't have a good uh, good reference here. Power Drill, Massacre, Murder House, Stay Out of the House, Nun Massacre. Oh, wait. I think, I, never mind. I've seen this. Okay, no, I know, I know what we're talking about. Never mind. Yeah, I, I think about it, actually. I'm not crazy good at them, or rather, I'm not, uh, you know, not uh, not too keen on those types of games, but, you know, we'll see. Um, Is uh, your neck thing made of fox clubs? Yes, fox clubs. Uh, there's another, there was another one that someone said, uh, why is your audio good? That was another thing. Um, I have a channel strip, my, my favorite piece of equipment right now. That's, uh, kind of propelled myself very far. Uh, the DBX 286S, this thing is rock solid for me. I love it. Uh, my interface is a Motu M4. Uh, I think the M02 is really, 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 really strong. Hasn't failed me. Been working for like the last like two, two, three years. Um, and then right now, you guys are hearing me through a SM7B. Uh, I run a couple filters that I, uh, it's my secret sauce, so to speak, you know, secret sauce. Uh, as for headphones, okay. Headphone wise, right now I track and generally just all around use uh, Sony MDR CD 900 STs. If you ever happen to watch like uh, the first take or anything like that, or see any like Japanese studio in particular, these are the headphones that they generally use. Uh, I have different pads just because for comfort. Uh, but usually I will mix and track on, or not mix, but or mix and master on my, and if you guys watch K-On, uh, the AKG K701s. So those are my personal favorites. Uh, <laughs> I call them the Mio headphones, basically. Um, if I ever record a lot of different vocal stuff, or voice acting stuff, or voice pack stuff. Um, I use another mic, that's, that's my condenser mic, called the Rode NT1. That one does me solid, sounds great, love it. Uh, yeah. And then uh, my pop filter is like a Stedman PS101, I think. Yeah, I'm sorry, I, I'm a hella sound tech nerd. I, I love talking about my equipment just because it's, it's so cool to see, you know, how these things interact and what I can do and how, how to make things sound cool, you know, and I, yeah, I just want to make sure that what I, what you guys are hearing sounds great to you, you know, so. Also, not to be a dab all the time, is it for you? It's, it's like nine, it's almost nine o'clock, it's fine. Who is more nerdier, Shu or you? Shu can still do integrals. I call that nerdier. <laughs> I can't, oh my god, my, the most I can do is teach Calc 1. Like, I can't do calculus anymore, or at least like, advanced calculus uh i can't really do like like oh dude stuff like differential equations i can't do or like vector calc out of the window but i can still do like calc one at least nerge 2.0 oh my god can we use the math no <laughs> uh 
Uh, would would you like to share more about your sound stuff in the future or maybe in member streams? Probably. Uh, I think so within member streams. I actually will leak this, I guess. My member streams will most likely be me talking about a lot more about the mixing process to certain projects. Uh, where you guys will probably get a little more insight as to what that I'm doing in particular, as well as certain things that I'm tweaking alongside. Uh, I don't know if I'll ever do like a full on mix master stream though, primarily because uh, playing my mixes on stream is uh, not necessarily okay, if that makes sense. Like I would have to have approval for that stuff. So I, right. Just understand that I can only do so much, but I can share what I can. <laughs> Math ASMR. Yeah, no wonder you like uh, Hibari. Yeah, so he does mix himself. That's why I was also like, ooh. Opinions on Black Butler. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't want to say it's not my cup of tea, but I did watch it. That's all I'll say. Currently 12 o'clock, so I'll be heading to bed, but I enjoyed stream. Bye bye. Rah, America. Good night. Please. Do you get your rest? I do appreciate you coming by. And for those of you who are having to tune out because it is late, it is getting late and you want to head to bed, please, please take your time. Take your time. You can see me tomorrow. I thank you for coming out and being here so late. <laughs> Opinions on Oron Host Club. Oh my god, I want to say the line. Uh, kiss, kiss, kiss. Uh, uh, um, love in fall. I don't want to get in trouble, guys. We can't get in trouble. <laughs> I, I'm very scared when it comes to like singing songs. I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> But yeah, um, I don't know. What was it? What was I saying before? There was something else that I wanted to talk about, but like I, it slipped my mind real quick. Uh. Have you heard of Kaiju number eight? I love Kaiju number eight, the manga. I'm caught up. Uh, I haven't had a chance. Like I don't know if the episodes are out yet. I I don't even know how if the anime is happening yet. But I do I do love the manga a lot. I just came back. Are you still streaming? I like talking a lot. Sorry. <laughs> what do you think of Silent Hill? I actually really like the lore of Silent Hill games. I just don't necessarily like the gameplay. This man brought out our inner otakus. Oh my god. I mean, hey, like I, I like talking about anime and I like, you know, just consuming a lot of media. That's just stuff that I'm into. Do you know Cherry Blossom After Winter? I've heard about it. We'll be off to lunch. See you, Claude. Have a good lunch. Have a good lunch. Please, if you haven't already, and I guess kind reminder, like if you haven't eaten or if you haven't uh, had water in, in quite some time, please do remember to take care of yourselves. It is equally as important. <laughs> Are you into detective games like Somnium Files or Ace Attorney or 999? Oh my god. 999 was one of the first games I had... On, on like on the DS basically actually beyond like Pokemon like oh my god 999 was one of my favorites uh I played through like half of Somnium Files and Ace Attorney I I played like most of them uh okay so I, I've been seeing people mentioning ORV I've not fully consumed ORV I've had like read a couple chapters but I was like I'll get into this later so that's all I'll say. I don't have a I don't have a good opinion yet. I don't have a full opinion. Yeah. Uh I mean I played like <sighs> Virtue's Last Reward on the 3DS. Is that was, was that 3DS, I think? Or was that PSP? I can't remember. Or was it Vita, actually? I can't remember. I think it was Vita. I believe. I believe it to be. I, I can't. Oh dude, it's. I need someone to fact check me, actually. Someone to fact check me. Favorite Zero Escape character? Ooh, that's a tough one. <sighs> hmm. This is 
tough one, man. I actually don't know. I think the concept of Zero himself is really cool. Like, I like the whole gas mask situation. So I, I think that's probably what I would go with. Maybe. I like, I just like the, I do like the mask thing. The mask thing is really, really cool. I need to ask you 50 more questions. What are your three sizes? Um. Ooh, I actually don't know. Hey, wait a second. That, I, I'll count that as three questions. <laughs> I actually don't know. Now that I think about it. Um, I bench 225. I squat 225. I deadlift 225. The well-rounded man. Yeah. <laughs> There, there, there you go. Um, they're not sizes, but they're three numbers. <laughs> oh, oh, Vivi, oh, Vivi. <laughs> Mm. Sorry, oh, my brain was like shut down for like a second. I usually like, mm, I don't know. I usually usually just stop talking and then I need to think and then I, that's where I breathe. <laughs> Rookie himbo numbers? Hey, 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 hey. I gotta work on that, man. Actually, now that I, yeah, now that I think about it, like again, like I do want to be able to do it with a lot of other people actually. Like, I think I want to at least try to get a duet or a project with pretty much any, like, at least one with every Ian Singer, if that makes sense. And the, the, okay, the other thing being is if I say that right now, I don't want to exclude anyone on accident just by not mentioning their name. So just be aware, like, when I say, like, oh, I want to, I want to sing with uh, Anna and Millie. But then I like, oh, I just don't say like Maria for Maria for example, like uh, th that doesn't mean that I don't want to necessarily. It's just, you know, I that's just what came, came to mind first, if that makes sense. But I do I do wish to do something with everybody. It is complicated, for example, like I, I think, oh, my God. <sighs> Guess setting up these projects is, is so we got to chase people for that. <laughs> Uki and Claude duet. I, I think our the type of music that me and Uki both listen and sing to are pretty different in my opinion. I think it depends. I think it really, really depends. Sir, you like pineapples? I like pineapple juice. Love the juice. Yeah, Amori's asking me to play Amori. Yeah, Amori. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I might I might do a playthrough for like true ending. Who knows? <laughs> uh, you want to pat my head? I don't know how the hell you guys are going to do that, but eh, I can't like lean my head down. That's just how it goes. <laughs> yeah. Uh <-huh. laughs> Yeah, at some point in time, like if I can, I know Shu doesn't sing all that often. So I, I will I will attempt to drag him out. I think that was one thing that I was like, you, I will finally make this happen. <laughs> uh okay, hold up, hold up. Uh hey, um, I came from Vantazorade, and I don't know if anyone has asked this, but how are you with horror games, films, anime, or series? Are you the type to scream loudly or do short squeaky ones? I will react. Doesn't like I'm pretty good about it, but I will react to things that are fast and sudden. Like jump scares get me. But in general, like, I can consume it without being like, I can't stomach this anymore, you know? The, the most that it will happen is that I will get a headache, though. So I can't handle it, but yeah. You're seriously not going to beat the Catboy allegations? I'm going to be dead honest. Ugh. <sighs> it is what it is. It is what it is. Did you watch any, any one of VTubers in NGEN before joining? If so, who? I've been watching since Lazolite, like straight up. I've been watching like since Niji JP, like in the middle Niji JP basically. 
Yeah. Like I'm I'm I've been here for a long time. I've been here for a long time. I, I'm a big big fan. Of, die fan this, in fact. Is your background asset your light because your light is broken? I have a singular light bar above my monitor, and that's it. But also, yeah, I think it's funnier because like I occasionally turn things to light mode just so I can see in my room. <laughs> Back in the ancient times, the primordial fans. Whence were the days of Lazulite when there was but three talents, three lifers, uh, crumbles to dust. <laughs> Whose lore did you like in Niji Sanji since you've been here a while? I'm asking, I'm curious in asking if that's okay. Mm, lore wise? <laughs> Shu Vanta Pomu. <laughs> I'm telling you, those, those are funny. I think you guys, oh my god, you guys don't know this, but like, I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna leak it now. <laughs> Unironically. <laughs> <laughs> the lore <laughs> lore lore ghost written by Alira Pitora <laughs> I was talking cause at the time I was like I was like I was like girl I don't know what to do anymore I don't, I don't know I don't know what to do and she's like I got you <laughs> And then we, oh my god, we just sat there and just brainstormed. And I was like, oh, thank god. <laughs> Man, credit where credit's due, brothers. Uh, by the way, Cloud, who's the dead guy in the lore video? Uh, a very good friend. Yeah. <laughs> my very awesome best friend. It is not to totally not Vantagro. I think I think that's so funny. It's just I have to I have to put like disclaimers from now on. This is not Vantacrow. Actually, I think I might have to put that in the description. Like now that I really think about it, it has to say the like exclamation point not Vantacrow. No, it's not Van guys. It's not Van you guys. <laughs> We gotta, gotta get through your head. As a reminder. <laughs> POV Vanta dies. <laughs> yeah, disclaimer. Oh my god, thank you. <laughs> what do you mean you can you can still hear him? Isn't he streaming right now? <laughs> Well, now you sound like Uki. <laughs> yeah, my with my good friend. <laughs> yeah, I, dude, it's crazy because he he just he okay, dude, he comes here to raid me and then he goes and starts another stream, dude. Like it's crazy. I don't get the stamina, dude. God. We'll get there. We'll get there. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how he does that much endurance, but uh, we can still feel Vanta's presence. <laughs> the incident year, years ago. Dude, you've been talking for three hours. I mean, that's just how I do it, dude. Like, I, I kind of just talk a lot. So, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, you're calling him at nav. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't call myself an extrovert though. Let's be honest. I like I I may have the whole like ESFJ uh, yes whatever the fuck. I, I I don't like I don't know, but hey, I I just talk. Oh my god. Oh, speaking of which, I was talking with Kunai and Vivi. Dude. Oh my god. They talk without BGM. Like when they talk they they don't listen to anything. Or no, Kunai doesn't. 
I know, I, I know Vivi like listens to like her own music, but like, oh my God. Kunai doesn't listen to BGM when she talks. Like she sits there in silence and it's kind of crazy because I can't, I can't for the life of me. Like if I am talking to you guys, like I'm also listening to the BGM that you guys are listening to. And it's easy for me because at the very least, like I know that there's some sort of noise when I have like dead air or anything like that. So you guys have something to listen to. But at the same time, like it gives me an opportunity to kind of just flow and go with whatever the hell I'm talking about. But God, I could never, I could absolutely never um, talk in silence, dude. Who's going to tell him? Hey, 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 hey. You got, you guys, hey, don't, don't be trolling me. Unless it's too quiet. It might be too quiet. Whatever. Huh. Yeah, usually, usually I keep like a really low rolling BGM here. See? Yeah, I keep it, I keep it super low. <laughs> yeah. I, I usually just keep it super low because I I try not to. I was something that did bother me during debut was I felt like the BGM was a little too loud in my opinion, so I I am a little conscious about it sometimes. Yeah. You guys you guys aren't deaf. You guys aren't deaf. I just talk a lot to fill the void. <laughs> blame it on the squawking. Yeah, I blame it. <laughs> I blame it on on the 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 eagles. <laughs> Yeah, so you guys, you guys hear it. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like anything else. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I still need to start um, scheduling a lot of the other project stuff right now and figuring out logistics wise. Uh, also now, yeah, now that we've hit 50k, I guess I need to figure out what my next milestones are going to be. So, <laughs> I don't, I don't know. If we hit 100k, like, I'm sure I'll come up with something. I do really, really want to, uh, do something special for 100k, though. I think 100k is such a substantial number, in my opinion, so I'd want to do something very, like, special, I guess. I keep saying special. I just want to do something really cool. And I hope, I hope I can. Shower stream. Honestly, I do shower stream for fun. <laughs> okay, I'm heading off, but it was nice listening to you for a while. Have a good night, Claude. Hell, good night. Please, please, get your rest. But yeah, I, I personally, uh, I guess that's the other thing, right? Like, I don't like talking about numbers by anything, or by any means. Like, it's not... I like metrics. I like the idea of having something I can quantify and qualify through numbers. But at the same time, uh, I do have a hard time disconnecting myself from seeing myself as the product or the individual, basically, that is representative of the number itself. So uh, I tend to not look at it nearly as much or have it let it base any sort of my values or like I should not let my value be based off numbers, if that makes sense. So, uh, I tend to kind of disconnect in that way. So, yeah. <laughs> but at the same time, that shouldn't discount the fact that I do want to try and treat milestones in the way that you guys also can celebrate alongside me for supporting me. Uh, okay, I, I mentioned this earlier, but I'm going to say it again. Quick question, are you, are, are you okay with shipping? Do you have any rules or boundaries about it? Uh, so long as it's one, respectful, and two, uh, the person that you are shipping me with also is feels comfortable with it. Uh, no overstepping boundaries, so don't go too crazy. Uh, if you feel that it's a little too much, pull back. Um, additionally, if you have things like spicy, keep it to the tags, you know? Don't try and like just shove it into it or shove it in front of us, if that makes sense. Uh, if you want to consume that type of content, feel free to, but just be responsible about it. Yeah. I think my my bottom line in general is just just use your head. Uh, always be conscious about the things that you're doing. Remember that your, con your actions have uh, 
consequences, not consequences. That's not, it's a little, a little too uh, vindictive in that case, but there are, your, your actions do have repercussions sometimes. So just remember that. Like people will see it. People will think based on what you do. So, you know. His eagle is, <laughs> eagle ASMR be like, rah! <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I've thought about doing a watch alone. I, I know you guys mentioned. Um, I don't know what I would though. It really depends. I don't know if it's like a show that I'd, I'd consider doing or something a little more easier to consume, I guess. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah. I think, I think that was it. I don't know if there was like another thing that I wanted to address, basically. <laughs> uh, ma, ma, ma. <laughs> the ASMR is just a southern accent deep into the mic. <laughs> Trying to think of it. Oh my god. Oh no, but I don't want to say anything. Ah, oh, no, no, no. I can't do that off rip. I can't, I can't wing that one. Sorry. I was, I was like trying to think of something like super, super crazy Southern with a drawl, but I was like, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> yeah, just like, yeah, howdy. I'm, I'm just thinking about Cassidy from Overwatch. Uh, cowboy. Uh, country fried steak. <laughs> like, yeehaw, brother. No, that's it. That's all I got. My pronouns are USA. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like ASMR, um, not to say that I'm not interested in doing so. I just don't know how to go about it necessarily. Uh, I've never done it before is the thing. Uh, so it is something that I feel like I need to learn. I want to talk to other senpai who have done it in the past and get their input on how they actually do it so I have a better understanding of what to do and what to avoid I guess can you advertise a cheap to us oh god <laughs> southern diamond city lights <laughs> not the xbox mic asmr dude I would wholeheartedly do that you know one of the bits one of the funniest things from en that I, I remember to this day is that one stream of Alvin playing like Valorant or something and it was like POV uh, gamer boyfriend or something like that. <laughs> and I think that one is like the funniest stream ever. I love that idea so much. God, yeah, karaoke stream eventually. Just remember that, karaoke stream eventually. Uh, I need to figure out a set list. The, uh, the unofficial symbol, the eagle. <laughs> I just wanted this official. <laughs> uh, are you interested at all in visual novels slash ultime like uh, Touch Starved or Sylvia's Areas? I've considered doing visual novels. Um, I don't know how will I do it though, to be honest. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm not one to read out loud if that makes sense if it's voiced and i can be like oh my god he sounds so hot then like that's a little different you know what i mean um i would i would but uh generally if it's something that's just like purely text-based with no voicing and i'd have to voice it then i'd need someone else to kind of do it with me you know what i mean it's wholeheartedly it, it is hard to do it on my own But yeah, like eventually at some point in time, I do believe that, I don't know, I think it'd be crazy if if we had like an EN VN out of nowhere, that like, like officially produced by us. I would love to do that, actually. I think it'd be really cool. Vanta and Delphi? Yeah, I'd, I'd absolutely want to do that. If they'd have me on, like I'd, I'd wholeheartedly want to join in. <laughs> Manifesting, yeah. I don't know. I'd, I'd want to pitch the stuff that actually. <laughs> English boy, uh, visual novel sounds like something I'd spend all my money on. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, forgot to ask, but what's your favorite Luck Life song? The opening to Tsurune Naru. I really loved Tsurune. It was such a beautiful, beautiful show. My, my, my archery BL. <laughs> I, I, oh my god, Tsurune. I love Tsurune. It was such a good show. But yeah, the, oh, the opening is so good. I love Naru. It's so good. I need to know if you like Utaites. I do. Uh, I I feel like I'll answer this question again and again, but later just just know for now. Yes. Um, you guys like grill voice? I can't do grill. I'm sorry, it's hard. Valley girl. <laughs> oh my god! So I watched Mean Girls again. Honestly, so fetch. I'm gonna be real. <laughs> Honestly. You can't really sit with us anymore. Janet, you're gonna have to go. <laughs> I can't go any higher though. You guys you guys need to understand, like, it's so oh my god, like I don't know. I don't know how Luca does it, man. That's crazy. Like his Luca's Luca's grill is insane. Right? It's it's like Cause it's like I do the Valley Girl, but then I can if I keep going higher and high. Actually, maybe this kind of works. Oh my! Oh, oh, I think I might have unlocked something. <laughs> I think I might have. I think I might have learned something about myself tonight. <laughs> um, guys. Uh. <laughs> oh my God. Uh. Well, the more the more I know, I guess. I I didn't know I could do that. Cool. Kind of awesome, actually. <laughs> awesome. Hmm. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I've never I've never actually done that before. Oh my god. She will be now known as Claudia. <laughs> oh my god. Well, we, we did it. Cool. That was great doing it. I don't know if I can do it again. <laughs> See, I feel in the past I've tried and it, where it was like, oh my god, where are, I used to be able to do the, the, oh my god, the, the, the Ariana Grande, the, yeah, like really, really well for like a little bit, but then I lost it. I can't do it anymore. Cause now it sounds like I'm trying too hard. It, it, it used to be pretty good. There was one time where I could do it really well, but now I can't do it anymore. Ah, oh, dude. It's so funny because, oh my God, this would happen every single time. I basically, anytime I played Valorant with friends and then I'd like clutch around or something like that, or like I clutch, I like got 1v3, I'd just be like, yeah, <laughs> just, just like stand up. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know if this has been asked to you, but do you own any pets? If not, what would you own slash favorite pet? I actually don't own pets. I used to have a dog like way back when I was growing up, but uh, I haven't had a pet in a long time. But that's just because of where I was living, pretty much. Um, I don't know, actually. I'd want a cat. Or a dog. Either, either works, to be honest. Either or. Uh... Honestly, I have gotten better with cats more so, but that's just because like most of my friends have cats and anytime I've hung out with them, uh, most cases I've I've just I've just played with cats. Uh, someone said favorite AKG or Frederick song. Frederick, Odd Loop, AKG mi the split between three songs, After Dark, Rewrite, and Haruka Kanata. It's very split between those three, but those three are my absolute favorites. <laughs> Dude, I'm telling you, like AKG songs, fire. I love AKG. I, I really want to be able to sing AKG. <laughs> Did you watch 91 Days? I love 91 Days. Oh my god, I didn't put it on my list, but I love 91 Days. Female version? I mean, call call whatever name you like. Honestly, that is up to you guys. I think it's more funny than anything. <laughs> Ah, okay. Um, I think perhaps I should wrap up for tonight, to be honest. 
maybe I don't know I'm, I'm getting I'm not tired but I do need to take care of some, some stuff uh offline work necessarily uh hold up let me let me check real quick because I don't obviously I need to check my my event stuff so in case if anyone did like donate or anything like that I do appreciate it hold on one second okay yeah uh Daisy thank you so much for the three dollars uh Lots of messages actually. Daisy, Milk Tay 13, Chat Summer, Perry, Mooney the Spoonie, uh, Korean name that I cannot read. Uh, Mai and Upe. Thank you guys for the, the donuts. Appreciate it. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have like TTS or like uh, notification sounds on right now. It's just personal preference. Uh, but I will. <laughs> we're, we'll, we'll get the raw later. But, <laughs> you know. Uh, yeah. Once again. Thank you guys so much. I greatly, greatly appreciate you guys sticking around this late. Unf uh, not unfortunately, but times will be changing more so throughout the, the week, tomorrow especially. Uh, we're going to be moving to 1 p.m. instead of 6.30 like this. Uh, I will also need to make the waiting rooms later. Uh, as for that, keep in mind, those are not str like strict times. There will be a number of times where I'm going to be changing a lot of different things. So just remember that. Uh, I'll be all over the place. Be sure if you at, at any point you're wondering, oh, is, is Claude streaming? Feel free to check my Twitter or if there's any like YouTube waiting room anywhere where, where whatever it may be. Um, if you're ever in doubt, just check it. All right. I'm usually going to try and post it and you'll probably see it. OK. Um, yeah. Let's let's wrap it up for tonight. Again, it, it was quite quite the long stream about that four hours, but uh, I do greatly appreciate you guys coming up to debut 2.0. Thank you so much. We were able to solidify a lot of our tags as well. And it truly means a lot to see so many different people. And once again, also thank you to Vanta and Wilson uh, for the raids as well. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Wonderful, wonderful senpai. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll call it for tonight. I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your evening. Good night. My, my fade to black. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs>